Uh, we want to we want to give you guys a, a quick life hack recommendation. Um, if you're from the Toronto area, GTA, um, our lovely listeners, we want to we want to help you out here. As of late, we've been recording a lot more, spending a lot more time in the studio, and because of our lives are a little bit hectic, we're in and out. We never really have snacks and food here, so we uh, partnered up with Tiggy, who is a Canadian app, and uh, recently came to Toronto, and they are an on-demand food delivery service. And also, you can get your COVID test and basically anything else you need. They got a variety of unique products. Uh, basically, anything that you might want last minute, you can go. Go on the app. It's 15 to 30 minute delivery. Yeah, you heard that right. 15 to 30 minutes. We literally order it when we get in the studio before an episode. And before we even sit down to start recording, our food is here. I'd say even for us, it's always come closer to the 15 minutes and the 30. Like we'll order it. And before we can, you know, as soon as we sit down, take our jackets off, our guest gets here, like the stuff is here. And like... Keeps us, I mean, we get drinks, snacks, I mean, anything we really need to kind of, you know, keep us going, it, it comes. The best part is there's no fees, no subscriptions. Um, it Guys, it, it's actually amazing. They have fresh products and we actually like, you know, we don't waste stuff here. We order what's needed every episode and, you know, we go through it and then the next time we're back in here, we order more. We don't we don't waste stuff because we sit here and, and go bad and... It's been a lifesaver. And since we love you guys so much, we're going to give you guys a promo code. You knew this was coming. PAL30. Yeah, PAL30. P-A-L-30. Gives you 30% off your first three orders. Yep. Bingo. Boom. Go do it. <laughs> guys, it, it, and not, not only that, like every, the price of everything is going up. You're going to save 30%. Like what a no-brainer. Don't, thank us later. You know, Don't even thank us. Just go and do it. Have a so great day. We'll put the download link in the bio in the description so click the unique link you can download it again and the promo code is pal30 for 30 percent off your first three orders now get ready for this fire episode let's go that's sick uh so we're talking about your potential podcast that you might do we have a sponsor our sponsor's tiggy so it's like a 30 minute food delivery service for groceries okay. and stuff so what we'll do is we'll order the food yes i'll let you order <laughs> okay we'll see what what your order would be okay you're ordering groceries groceries or like snacks and stuff oh i'm good at that okay That's so like my special what's your go-to snack order then um salt and vinegar chips uh, Even well, though that's like not ideal for a podcast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Wait, like miss vicky's or like like lays like what what kind of chips specifically i go for like kettle chips okay Kettle okay. brand is my favorite salt and vinegar chip, but Miss Vicky's second favorite. That's like what I grew up on. Okay. <laughs> I feel like Miss Vicky's is known for their salt and, uh, salt and vinegar and the jalapeno. Yeah. I don't. Staple. Yeah. I, I don't really like the jalapeno. No? I, I'm not a spicy food person. Did you guys ever put your um, your chips in your Subway sandwiches? No. No? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll tell her this story. I'm going to ask your opinion about this. While you're, because now we're on the topic of food, food anyways. So while you're looking that up, put one in for salt and vinegar. Vin yeah. Okay, when you eat, if you make, let's say you're at um, <laughs> a nice like restaurant, okay, having like steak dinner or something, or you order a steak and it um, comes with like a, is that fair? Like, I'm not a big steak person. Okay, so <laughs> what's your go-to dish? Uh, gnocchi or whatever. Honestly, gnocchi doesn't work. Yeah. So let's okay, <laughs> hypothetically <laughs> speaking, let's say you, you chicken, ordered okay. chicken, rice, and vegetables on the plate. Okay. Right. I feel like she doesn't eat that. <laughs> That's like a <laughs> That's or like so fish. Plain. You have fish, rice, and vegetables okay. on your plate. So you got a meat, a carb, and a vegetable. Okay, okay. When you eat your food on the plate, if there's a bunch of things, whatever you eat, if there's yeah. a bunch of things on a plate, do you eat like one thing at a time? So let's even if you're salad, you'll like bite the salad, then you might eat the veggies, then you might eat the chicken, yeah. or do you like push it all together and take one? No. See. <laughs> That's how Ricky eats. That's how I eat. And it's, no. I find it repulsive. I'll, I'll do like, I won't like push it all together. That's disgusting. <laughs> but like I, it depends who I'm with. If I'm by myself at home, I eat it like one at a time. But when I'm out for dinner with people, I feel like the right thing to do is like have a little bit of veggies and then like get a little mashed potato and eat it with the chicken. You know, I feel like that's what oh, everyone okay, does. Mashed potato okay. and chicken. But I don't together. mean, I don't mean like you push it together. I mean like I like slice a little bit. Scoop it up, you know? <laughs> yeah, okay. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, yeah. Cause like, so she's a hybrid. Yeah. She's but a hybrid. that's like only because I feel like when you're out for dinner with someone and like, I don't know, I feel like that's what everyone does. They're like, you have to do that. Yeah. Ricky, like we've talked about this before and like, also, I can't find the salt and vinegar chips. Just, can you not Any? search it? Hey, well, Tiggy. No, don't go. say that. Oh, Tiggy's no, got to get on there. They their, have uh, such a good selection of salt and vinegar chips. Sea, no, sea salt. 
Like you, there was right there, yeah. The top one was Miss, salt of it. No, those, those are Miss Vicky's sea salt no. and malt. Malt is vinegar. Malt is yeah, good. Yeah, but that's a different type of. That's not. Oh, the, that's not I the like regular. Malt vinegar. Okay, we're going to fire it up. Tiggy, this is a message for you. You need to get better sea salt and vinegar chips. That's it. No. Um, <laughs> anyways, Ricky, that why I thought about the chips on the on the sub. Like I know people that do it. I but like it's a thing. We always have a we always have a back and forth. The way Rick eats, I think, is so bizarre. But just because I, I was raised a little bit differently, not good or bad, it's just <laughs> how he eats. Throwing shots I just, at me. I just find it weird. We had a chef on and we asked him, and how did he say you are- Designing a you're bite. designing your bite when you put all these different pieces on Oh my on God. Your bite. So he said, like, I think that it's weird that he mixes them. Because you're supposed to, I think, like, if you have a good, like, you're eating good food. Like, if you have, like, gnocchi and it's good. Yeah. And you have, like, by chance, you have, like, a salmon on your plate. You're not going to bite a piece of gnocchi and a piece of salmon. You're going to eat like a bit of gnocchi and then you might eat like some because salmon. Because gnocchi and salmon uh, don't go together. Uh, I've definitely done that before. Okay. Okay, so, so she has. Okay. Like at home. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care where I am. Yeah. yeah. Okay, fair. <laughs> um, okay, Penny, what's the next? Give us uh, a chocolate. What's your go-to chocolate? Oh. Honestly, go-to, Kinder. But Kinder's so hard to find anywhere. Kinder like, like, like Kinder the eggs. The eggs? Yeah, Boom. and how the bars. Many, how many you want, Penny? Oh, that's not even like I. <laughs> they have them. Only a buck sixty nine too. I feel it's like really dangerous. Me and Kinder eggs, like that's like, like your go to chocolate. Get you like yeah. five, so you can take a couple home. Oh god, uh, that's not f- even like I'll take a like I will eat the five here. I swear. <laughs> Did you know they just? Um, I can't remember if it's a state or province, or like around Ontario, that just banned Kinder. Uh, Kinder Surprise Eggs. What? Because little kids are swallowing that little that, the chocolate. They're the banned little in toys. the states already for that. Oh, so is that what it is then? Well, in America, it's banned. Okay. Wait. In America, they have like ones that you pop in half, and then it's like a melted Kinder Egg in one side, and you like scoop it out. Yeah, those, yeah, those ones are bomb. And then the toy in the other those side. Those are bomb. Uh, I'm not. No. Bu- I don't like those. So you like the classic Kinder Surprise Egg? Yeah. Have you in Europe? Because in Europe, Kinder's like massive. Have yeah. you ever had the chocolate bar Kinders? Yes, definitely. Oh, those I are love good. It. And I they come in those little like cubed yeah. almost. Yeah. Does your mom like those? Yeah, my mom. Every time she used to go to Europe, uh, she would stop in the duty free and just buy like oh. the biggest block of Kinder Surprise. Or that's what I do. It's called Kinder Surprise, yeah, not yeah. just Kinder. I th- yeah, I think, or maybe Kinder they call it there, but whatever. Whatever. You guys know what I'm talking but about. But like at Easter time, Kinder comes out with like massive Kinder eggs. Oh, yeah. And the chocolate's a little bit thicker. It's yeah. so good. Okay, wait. Mini <laughs> eggs or, like or eggies? Eggies wait, are the Hershey's. Are so Cadbury mini eggs is, Clearly is like mini the eggs. OG yeah, staple. Mini eggs. But then eggs. they have the Hershey's eggies or something. No, uh-uh. no. Cadbury. Okay, as long as we're on but the But have you page. had the mini, mini eggs? What? No. They have mini mini eggs, like the little like like, like the tiny. tiny tiny ones. You no, know so weird. I was wondering that recently. I was like, why have they not made like a jumbo mini egg and a mini mini egg? I thought about well, that have. recently. Imagine a but jumbo I one. I would eat that. You'd have a jumbo, to, like, like not you'd jumbo you'd like this, but like, like, like nibble it. <laughs> That's a good observation. It might be hard like, to eat yeah. that. It might be weird to like, because like you bite like like a jawbreaker outside, kind of thing. Yeah. Like the outside crust always crumbles. Yeah, yeah that'd be kind of annoying. Good point. Good point, Pat. Penny's a chocolate okay, connoisseur, okay. obviously. So we've, yeah. we've done a chocolate. Yeah, wait, we've wait, done a chip. One more question. Cream egg or mini egg? Oh, yeah. Cream egg. But the Oreo cream egg. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> Taking these off to know. another level. Chocolate, right? I'm like all she over She doesn't need to think about it. She's like, yeah. I don't know if I ever I had know. the Oreo cream egg. Really? But I, the caramel you, one too. You know? <laughs> She's like, "Hey, you done? Pass the phone." Do, you, like, do, do they have know? the Oreo? Uh, let's <laughs> probably not. That's like an Easter special. Then, but, right, That's a gas station let's special. See. Does Tiggy have it? Uh, cream. I'm putting egg. Tiggy on the spot here. You guys better come. No, through. they don't. Oh. They don't. Um, did you know that many like the cream eggs? You ever see? Um, I can't remember what celebrity did it, but they can't went out to Jimmy Fallon and prove that the Cadbury mini eggs got smaller. The cream eggs. So. so like maybe I believe I, it. There's like a decade ago, like the someone said like someone maybe tweeted or said something like, "Hey, are, are cream eggs getting smaller or like it's just me?" And Cadbury came out and said, "Oh no, you're just like an adult now, so they look Your smaller, hands are bigger, <laughs> something like no. that." And they and then someone was like, "Wait a second, like we started doing research trying to find old cream eggs, and there was a celebrity." I guess that had a box of old cream eggs like in his grandmother's house and brought it on the show <laughs> and showed that they got smaller and they went like viral. I'm pretty sure I'm, that's the story. How I it can went. believe it. Somebody just did that with the steak. You see the meme online? Oh, it's, it's like the guy brought so a scale to Montana. He's like, I ordered a six ounce steak. Came in and I weighed it. It was only four ounces. I want my two ounces. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <and> something. <laughs> 
Okay, but wait. They don't crazy. have uh, the Oreo cream egg, but they have the Cadbury Dairy Milk Oreo chocolate bar. Okay, yeah. Is that a good I'm, substitute? I'm okay. <laughs> all in. Uh, what else do we have here? What's the next? Here. What's the next? That's another good thing. My roommate. Ice cream. Favorite ice cream. Ice have a cream. Here. Oh, I'm not big on ice cream. Really? Yeah. So what's your go-to? Like you're ordering a snack. Like what is chocolate? Like Kinder Surprise is your yeah, number one. Definitely chocolate all okay. the time. Not a candy person. Uh, sometimes. What's your go-to candy? Like fuzzy peaches. I feel like everyone's. That's go-to like a staple. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's fuzzy peach, sour, sour patch. You might. Da- it's my candy. dad's favorite candy. Like he, my dad doesn't eat a lot of like junk and candy or <laughs> stuff like that. Like in general, even when we were kids, we wouldn't eat a lot. Mm-hmm. Fuzzy peaches, like is kryptonite. Like I'll be like, if I'm like, it's so funny because like he goes buys healthy groceries, whatever, but he'll come back with like four bags of fuzzy peaches. And I'll never, uh, I'll never forget. I was at the, like up at our cottage, we um, and I went like down to get a snack one night, and I was like, "You guys want anything?" My parents are like, "No, no, we're good." And I go down, I'm going down the stairs, and my dad used me like rummage through the drawers, like, "Oh, don't forget, bring some peaches." <laughs> so, and I bring him, like, I like, I'm like, I grab, I'm, like, how many you want? Like five. He's like, just bring the whole bag. Yeah, <laughs> Eats my it. dad is like really secretive with his like sugar obsession. Yeah, he acts like he isn't really into sugar that much, whatever. But like, as soon as a birthday comes around and we bring out like a strawberry shortcake. He will eat half the cake, no problem. Go and on. just like super casually. <laughs> See, I'm like, cake is one of those things where it's either I love it or I hate it. Like if it's a, you know, a chain grocery store, like, you know, those metros or Loblaws, and it's like the generic one from like the other, I hate those. Hate them. Really? Like hate. You like mean a like, plain the ones, vanilla? like the white icing vanilla? Yeah. The one you oh. get your name, happy birthday, yeah, Ricky, yeah. you know, whatever. See, I like Hate those. I love them. But like the good like bakery ones those you know good. the small ones the custom ones that are like 30 bucks for a little six slicer nah. no oh, like those ones i don't like yeah those are good so wait best cake is momofuku birthday cake truffle i've never had i don't oh. know if it's the best but it is good no oh, it's best? like eight layers so- so- sobeys has a freaking uh strawberry shortcake that i get sobeys. all the time yeah that's yeah. a big plug sobeys wow so like see th- uh, my family's equivalent of that is black forest uh no Black Forest? Black, yeah. Oh, no. No? <laughs> Black Forest cake is... Isn't that... Doesn't it have, like, cherry in it? Yeah. Oh. Black Forest uh-uh. cake is, I think, arguably one of the most underrated cakes. And we got it for my dad's birthday. And we must have ate, like, I don't know, the entire cake. Do you like jam-filled people. donuts? No. I don't love them. I hate. I used to when I was a kid. I don't love them anymore. Even, like, Boston cream, stuff like that. I'm not crazy about no. it anymore. I love Boston cream. But... Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Interesting. Do you know... Wait, but, do you love donuts? I love donuts. Is it a swimmer thing? What? My brother used to swim. So my brother like swam. <laughs> a very small sample size. You, no, but like your my, my, the whole team, my brother's like his whole team after Sunday practice or Saturday morning practice, they'd go to Timmy's and just like dummy a, a 12 pack themselves. Yeah. Maybe no. not 12 pack themselves, but like that was my their roommate thing. Donuts. And I did that last night. Like, <laughs> Respect. <laughs> yeah. Wait, from where? Uh, Krispy Kreme. I'm just gonna say it. The best donuts in the world are Krispy Kreme. So good. Did you go classic or assorted? Uh, assorted, definitely. Okay. Classic, I can't. No? Not, I like, not like, many. one classic, but I want, like, the rest of them to be assorted. Okay. That's, that's interesting, because we, did we talk about it on the pod with someone else? Where I, I told you a story how I ate, like, a dozen Krispy Kreme by myself yeah, yeah, one yeah, time. Yeah, I, remember, I was, like, I remember, like, low-key making fun of you. I was living... <laughs> what i remember low-key making fun of you yeah yeah so i was like downtown and i was like okay, I'm, I'm gonna finish living. this order though yeah, so yeah. We, we, Get, when i was uh, uh, if they have like two bite brownies okay those okay. that's a random i one. used to eat those for lunch like in high school because there was a shoppers at the top like of our street yeah, where yeah. my school was and i would just like walk up there sold and get out those um of course they are because they're I, so good you know what's funny <laughs> i used to trade a, bu- a buddy of mine anthony mila in elementary uh, in high school he would always get those the little package that comes yeah. with four of them. I would trade him half of my prosciutto sandwich for his four brownies. But now there's only three in a pack. Really? Yes. Since when? I think. I don't I know. Think there's, I'm pretty sure you there's only know? three. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's only three in a pack because like one time I got four. It's either there's three or four. I don't know. One time I got five. Um, one time I got more, <laughs> one extra, and I was really happy. You hit the it's jackpot. like when you get a chip that looks like a celebrity or something. You know, it's like random things. Have you had? That? Yeah, no, I've never. I never had. But you that. don't see those. Like people have like frame chips. Like one time in the history of chips, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna um, order something. Penny, any wait. last re- last remarks? Last. I don't think so. Okay, I'm just gonna fill the order with random things then. Pring- okay. well, what is that? Pringles. We got chips. I'm on the chip section. Um, Joe Louis. Don't do chips. Oh, Joe Louis are so you good. You like Joe Louis? I Can't love wait. Joe, Joe Louis or Twinkies? Uh, have you ever had the like what? Twinkie cake down. version things? No. 
They'll sound amazing. May, they might have those. Do they have Twinkies? Twinkies are the best. Guys, I'm <laughs> done. <laughs> um, sorry, to go back to the thing about, we're jumping everywhere. They're go back to the, uh, to the uh, Krispy Kreme. Twinkies. They gotta have Twinkies. 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 Come on. Yeah, they got it. Do, oh, do, the, do they have the cake version of Twinkies? Uh, like, they're not. No, Hostess Twinkies six pack. What are those things? I've never had a Twinkie. Those are the vanilla the, the donut things? I don't know what this is. Um, it's a food color package. My mom's going Anyways. to be like, you really went on this podcast and ordered junk food and you're supposed to be a <laughs> we, health advocate. <laughs> we had a, should we get some broccoli? <laughs> they have veggies on there? Yeah, they got veggies. Do you wait? Let me ask you this last time. Do you typically eat like super, super, super clean? Or are you someone that just because you work out and, and you're swimming so much, you eat whatever mm. you want? Um, I honestly, it kind of depends. Like I, I am really like, self-aware and like i know how my body feels when i'm training and so like for me i kind of just let myself eat whatever and like for the most part i eat really healthy and then like if i want chocolate if i want donuts i'm gonna order it because like clearly my body wants it why not yeah and yeah. like i know the next day i'm gonna work out so i don't really i so don't think it's like, like make you're not break. like you don't feel guilty after you're like you know what i've like been good for the most part uh, i'll splurge a little i definitely feel guilty sometimes because <laughs> like i had a big like wendy's phase where i was eating wendy's like every single day come on for a while but um and i was like come on penny like just <laughs> cook one meal like and now i'm like always cooking and okay. i really like it but i definitely do like so you've moved out of your sometimes. wendy's phase a bit now <laughs> yeah okay. especially now that i live downtown there's no drive throughs here okay <laughs> what's your go-to meal to cook uh oh right now my go-to is like just a bunch of veggies cooked up, like sweet potato, broccoli, carrots, Ooh. everything like that. And then like I air fry chicken thighs and they're so good. I chicken love thighs chicken thighs. Best. But That's they're not all as I healthy eat. for you as um as the chicken breast. Yeah, right? no, but that's they're not they're as saying. good. They're not yeah, they're not see, like, dark meat's so much better. But see, that's the thing is like I mean, I'm not the I'm not the epitome of health. I, mean, I eat pretty healthy, <laughs> but I'm not like you know ripped. I'm not Ricky over here. Um, <clears throat> but I find chicken breast to be so boring and so dry. I hate it. I hate it. Like I can I I literally buy chicken thighs only now. Yeah. It's just like, do I really care if that this has a little bit less fat in it or whatever? Like it doesn't taste That's good. That's the thing. I'm yeah. like I'm not gonna realistically want to eat chicken breast every single day, but I will eat chicken thighs for every single meal every day and chicken thighs change. don't get that's the thing it's, you don't get sick of it no like, and you I can change can't, the I seasoning can't. to make it completely different yeah. exactly it's amazing like how do you make a good chicken breast I I've never had, had good chicken breast I had hot sauce no you eat a lot of chicken breast you, you, I, were you went through a phase with that so, even that Mr. Chin thing you ate literally like asparagus and so I for like did a, a fitness two contest straight. in 2013 <laughs> not a fitness contest but basically a fitness contest yeah. and all I ate for six weeks straight Four meals a day, a chicken breast, a, like a, a portion of asparagus and broccoli. The only thing that changed every meal was the seat, the dressing I put on top. So it's either like, you know, those crappy like packaged like Greek dressing yeah. or Italian dressing or Thousand Island or hot sauce. Excuse me. That's all I did. Did you cry? No, I, I can do it. <laughs> I have no problem. I can, eat, I can eat like salad and chicken for every meal. The yeah, reason I couldn't do that I salad and chicken. I can do that too. But yeah, I did it. Not for chicken Six breast. weeks straight, four yeah. meals a day. Imagine like waking up. And, like I was a student at the time too. So you wake up, you're hungover. It's 10 a.m. and I got to eat chicken breast. And you weren't hungover because you weren't even drinking then. No, I was still drinking, but I was drinking vodka water meals. Weird. <laughs> I was working at a bar so and I would come into the bar with my meal and they'd be like, you can't bring this in. I was like, it's meal. They're like, oh, how do we know? I was like, I don't care. Like, I'm, I can't drink vodka waters. Uh, I'm like, <laughs> I need to bring this in. And I'd wait outside for the, one of the owners or like the managers to come outside and be like, look, I'm bringing this in. It's fine. So then they would start bringing it for me. Uh, that sounds Yeah, not really. fun. But I won. So I guess oh, it paid well, off. Ooh. Good for you. Mr. Chin. Seven-time Olympic medalist. Who's well, the real? Who's yeah. the real winner here? <laughs> I mean, I couldn't do that. So like, <laughs> I, I think what you're doing is all right, though. Uh, I was gonna say you kind of pivoted on to to Olympics. I mean, yeah. Well, no. To be honest, I, I, even with regards to Olympics, I wanted to talk about something because I messaged you a while ago about it, and this is one note that I made sure that I I definitely wanted to talk about because um, I think it's important, and a lot of people might just overlook it. I think when you finish f uh, fourth in one of the events one of the solo events and you had a personal best, you finished fourth and someone on Instagram was like, 
aren't you disappointed that you didn't medal or something? And you responded, you're like, I just had a personal best and I'm the fourth fastest in the world. Yeah. Why would I be disappointed? Yeah. Cause like people are like, Oh, like, and you, you see it like people are like, Oh, like, aren't you sad? You're so close. It's like, fuck you. Like it's, I just finished four yeah. like in the world. It's honestly not even, I mean, people are probably messaging me being like, aren't you sad? But it's more just like people message me and they're like, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, why are you sorry? Why? Like, I just did a personal best time and I came forth like, okay, yeah, I know what I could have done better. And like in my flip turn, I remember turning and being like, this is the slowest flip turn I've ever done in my life. Why am I doing this right now? Um, but like, I can't go back and change it. You know, like all I can do is try and get better from there. And so like when people message me and they're like, I'm so sorry, I'm just like, you're literally putting salt in the wound just yeah. tell me congrats you came forth good job and you it's know? like fourth like, in the world it's not yeah. like, like and it's not like you had a bad race no it's, like, it's a personal best like yeah that's the fastest you've ever swam in a comp on a competition yeah and it's like uh i'm so sorry like you didn't you didn't it's like yo what i just yeah. did my best yeah okay there's always room for improvement you didn't yeah. win but at the same time it's like you just finished fourth in the world i know yeah like i, I remember seeing that and i was like that's crazy and then this is a little bit off the Olympics, but anyway, I should, I should say one thing quickly. Yeah. Uh, so you said when you were doing it, you thought it was the, the slowest flip turn ever, ever yeah. done. Like in that moment, did you act like you actually like you felt like yeah? It was like, that that noticeable going, going into my turn and like during my turn in my head, I was like, like move your fucking legs. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm like like turn, and like for some reason I couldn't get around the wall fast enough, and then I pushed off the wall and I just had to kind of go for it as fast as I could and. I mean, I was also so nervous before the race and like, cause I think that was, I had had six medals at that point. And so going into my hundred free, I was so nervous cause I was like, okay, I need to get seven. And then like there was, um, the relay the next day and I was like, okay, this is my chance to get seven. And then I, we didn't get it then. And then like, um, I, th er, I can't remember what exactly the whole breakdown was, but I just remember there was a few days where like we didn't medal and I remember just feeling so defeated because I was so nervous for both like all of those races. And then on the last day, I like finally got my seventh medal and I was just like, oh, okay, very Wait, relieving. It yeah. Shoulder, yeah, it is crazy too that you did the five events and like your worst finish was fourth. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like <clears throat> it's like that was your worst finish and it's still like, <laughs> fourth like, yeah just kill penny I, uh, by the way i just fucking love you by the uh. way i'm like your biggest fan like, no. watch swimming uh actually randomly me and george swam the other day i was actually gonna bring this up were you yeah <laughs> so you know how they talk about like she should put like a normal person versus an olympian and see how they swim holy shit so i've been swimming again i, I think i might have mentioned this last time i i used to swim back in the day mm -hmm. obviously not very good but i so i do it now for fitness and i'll do maybe like anywhere from a thousand meters to 1500 meters. And I swim up at a gym in life, uh, in Vaughn. So me, m our schedules coincide a lot, right? Just yeah. because between this and we are best friends. So I almost know this guy's schedule off by heart. Yeah. So the other day we, we were supposed to have a podcast on the Wednesday or whatever, and it got canceled or something, or we didn't have one scheduled. So I was like, George, you want to come for a swim? He's like, yeah, I'd love to. I was like, perfect. So well, I've also been trying to, like, I wanted to get into it more. Like I run and like do other things that are like not great on the joints. So it's like, I want to also get into like yeah. less Tiggy's here already. How fast was that? Shout out to Tiggy 15 minutes. That's crazy. How fast that was. We're not even 21 minutes into the episode. Maybe it's not Tiggy then. Cause that's insanely fast. What, what do you mean? Maybe it's not Tiggy. Maybe it's just some random person. Coming Tiggy out. comes fast. Honestly, that was give fast. A shout out. We order like they're one of our obviously sponsors. We order like the beginning of the episode at, or not even like 10 minutes before the episode. And like, it's here when the episode starts. Yeah. It's crazy how fast it gets. We here. usually try and do it. So like when we're like sitting down, just like shooting, shooting the shit, just like kind of give us some time, get to know the guests and yeah. whatever. So that's what we do. But I forgot to do it earlier. But, um, so we're about, jumping back. Do yeah. you know how to get here? Yeah, uh, they'll figure it out. The regulars here now. They'll we're gonna bring them on now. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> That's my dream. Yeah, we're gonna get the thingy guy on. Um, <laughs> and my look. girlfriend's also do, training for a triathlon, so her and like her, I, I think her say. dad and brother are doing it. She runs a lot. She doesn't do like the bike and the swim, so she's like training for the swimming. So I'm like, oh, cool. Maybe I'll do it. I'm not doing triathlon. Hate swimming, but I was like, uh, let me try. I'm not good at it, so let me try yeah. see how it is. So Ricky, like, you want to come on? I'm like, yeah, sick. I got goggles. I bought a pair. Bought my like speedo the other day. Just a half. Really? Didn't, didn't have a wet, didn't have a wet cap. cap, and I have long hair, which is annoying. Yeah, because yeah. it gets in my face. So I'm like turning, and like yeah. I'm just like, 
<laughs> like trying to get the hand on your yeah. face. Anyways, you can explain. Like, yeah. So we start swimming. And he's like, I was like, yeah, maybe I'll give you some like tips and tricks. Like, I don't know much, but I remember being a kid, like swimming. So he's like, you know, I know how to swim. I'm like, there's a difference between just like knowing how to swim, like lifeguard swimming, mm-hmm. and like actually swimming laps in a pool yeah. for speed and like for training. For context, I also was like, sorry, I was like, yeah, I'm like, but you're right. I haven't swam since I was in like grade twelve, which is like a decade, well, almost a decade and a half ago. So I was like, okay, fair. Uh- so you like, took me through like a warm up and everything. Yeah. So we did like we started off with some of the kicks and then some just arms okay. and then yeah, yeah. And then we do some some freestyle. And I was like, hey, like when you come, like try. And- I don't know what that was. But anyways, oh, so I was like, way. try and like just be fluid, like you know, turn your body, rotate, yeah. like put your arms out. His freestyle arm stroke was almost like a butterfly stroke. Very so wide. Like, <laughs> That's so. <laughs> I mean, so I was like, that happens. Try, try and keep it like thin, close to your body. I was like, okay. I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And no, but that so, like, I'm not, I am competent in the water, but I don't think I ever, like, when I was younger, I swam very often. Like, yeah. I did lessons, like, comp- like, whatever, not competed at anything, but like, I swam a lot. Um, this pool is 25 meters, approximately uh, 20, 25 yards. Okay, not so bad. It's a little bit smaller. Yeah. So I'm going like the lengths down and back, and I like, get, I'm like, holy shit, I'm out of breath. I come up, I was like, Hey, how, what do Olympians swim? Like, this is this this far. Rick's like, no, like the pool's like double, like sometimes more. And I yeah. was like, what enough? I was like, how? I was like, this, <laughs> I, like I can't breathe right now. Yeah. I, was, I did like one length and back. And then by like 400 meters, I was like, when we got to 400 meters, I was like stopping halfway through the pool. And I got, well, when I was done, the guy. <laughs> sure. when I was done like swimming with Rick, he's like, you good? You want to keep going? He's like, he could keep going for whatever. And I was like, yeah, I think I've had enough of this. Like, I cannot keep going. 400's like our warm-up. Come on. Like, our, like, just get in the pool, do a little 400 warm-up. Our a sessions, li- I yeah. Think, how long does it take you to do a 400 warm-up? Maybe, like, five minutes. I, like, a warm-up pace and everything? Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. It took me, like, 29 minutes or something to, to do a 400 <laughs> give or take let's maybe say 500 or something but like yeah i was stopping a lot like we, well we were going to like so we were doing it almost at like let's say a warm-up like we would do like two lengths so like 50 meters and then stop and like you know switch down the like breaststroke and then 50 and then maybe do like 100 lengths you should see meters. if you can do like a full one of our practices i'll probably drown our practices are like 6k 7k up uh, that's a regular practice? Yeah. 6K? Yeah. How long is the pool? Like, like you- a short practice would be like five. Come on. <laughs> yeah. How long? The pool you do is what? F- is it 50 meters? It'll or- be like either 25 or 50 meters. Uh, but Olympic. Tiggy. I didn't want to come on. Ah. I didn't want to come on. <laughs> we should have like, got him uh, on the pod. No. Do you- so Rick, wait. You were in here. Did you hear? She said, so I was telling her that I did like. 400. F- yeah. Her warm up is 400. <laughs> oh, yeah. And she said. She said Probably she can do like it in 5K. She said she can do it in like seven minutes. I said it took us tw- 29 yeah. to do like that. What tell her? Tell Rick what your warm, <laughs> uh, what your practice is. Like probably like, do like 10K, 8K. In a like practice. a regular practice would be like six, seven. Like a shorter yeah. one would be like would five. We, I was what? saying you guys should try and do like one of our full practices. Okay, You'd probably penny, be penny. there hours. Penny. Let's, no, let's, I, would, I would literally, literally drown. drown. Here, penny. I would literally drown. <laughs> um, no, I do what when I'm actually like swimming alone. I do um, 50 meters every minute, and that's okay. how I, do, I try and do 1500 meters. Usually after 500 meters, I'll take like a two or three minute break, yeah. check my phone, just like yeah. whatever, chill for a second. Uh, but yeah, that's what that's I usually good. Do. That's not bad. Yeah, you know, like I'm not great, but I can swim. The flip turns usually go after maybe like 200 meters, 300. After that, I'm what just grabbing mean? on and pushing off. They're that I don't hard? flip anymore. It's just like I'm out of breath and I'm tired. I don't even know how to do a flip turn. I was like, I get near the wall. I'm like, all right, grab it, push it off. Yeah, that's I, what I, I did. thought I'm, about doing it, but I'm like, nah, I don't need to water in my ear right now. I'm not doing you're, this. You're. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, forget this. I'll just push off. No. And I, okay. Also, when I would swim one direction, when I go down, I go from the deep end to the to the shallow. When I would turn and come back, it felt harder. And I was like, "Is there like a current coming at me because of the waves moving this way?" Because when you're like first push off the wall, coming back, yeah, yeah, there is a current. Because I was like, I felt substantially harder. I'm like, what is this sorcery <laughs> in the water? Like not like the whole length though. No, no, but okay. like by the time I got to the, <laughs> the time I got to like halfway the length back, I was like, okay, this is like back to normal. Yeah, but the shallow end would get me every time. What do you, when you're swimming? And I don't know, maybe I'm going to put myself on blast here. When I'm swimming, sometimes like I put the water in my mouth and I spit it out. 
Okay, like, yeah. Does, is that a normal thing or is that just me? Yeah. Oh, you do that too? Yeah. Okay. It's kind of weird. I mean, no, that's so Is it normal? It's a swimmer yeah. thing. Yeah, I, you I, wouldn't get it, bro. What am I saying? That's you wouldn't weird. get I'm it. Not even, I don't even know from two lengths without dying. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, you like, I don't know. I'm always in the water. Like, <laughs> yeah, you just like, you're like, like, yeah, exactly. Okay. I'm when on you do like backstroke and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So someone like you, when you're doing all these lengths, like, I guess not practicing, when you're competing, mm-hmm. like, do most swimmers aren't doing like one, two, and then turning for air? Like your head's no. down a lot longer, or like, or is everyone different? Like, it's kind of like whatever you like works for you. Like I breathe every two pretty much all the time. Like in practice, I breathe every two. And um, what's your good side? My right. I always I can't breathe to my left side. You know, it's like uh, I go uh, to my left. It's like Zoolander. She can't she can't turn breathe on her left. Exactly. And that one that one event she turns. It's like, <gasps> Yeah, exactly. No, I can't. I only breathe to my left when I'm like breathing into the wall on a last stroke, okay. which really? you're not even supposed to. Wait, do. do you do you know how many strokes? Strokes. Uh, <laughs> I did you not know that word? It just didn't come to my head for a second. There, <laughs> she knew what I was talking about. Do you know how many strokes you are from one end to the other for each uh, like swim? Not exactly off the top of my head like oh so it's not like each race you don't you're not saying okay i've got 17 to get to the other end no no no, no. interesting because no. you know like i can't runners even think and, um hurdlers, hurdlers. Yeah, yeah. yeah they have it down to a like an exact step no. i think yeah yeah i think Maybe so it's, I a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a cadence right like you know that if you're striding when to like just take off i think it's they have it down no yeah. i'm like just like talking to myself in my head during a race <laughs> <laughs> what do you say what do you say in your head like give a I know. In a, even a practice or race, what goes through your mind? Just like whatever. I honestly couldn't even like during practice. It's always so random. Like sometimes if it's a really long, boring practice, I'll just like think of how I want to decorate my house the whole this time. Doing home, and, like, home decorating, <laughs> competing in the Olympics. Oh, and then God. like during a race, it's usually just like trying to convince myself I'm not in pain. So oh, that like yeah, I okay, feel like I have more power and energy in the race. Okay. <laughs> so, like in a two hundred free, by the second fifty, if you're in pain, like it's over because like the third and fourth fifty hurt so yeah. much. So like always on the second fifty, I'm like, oh, you feel good, like you you're doing <laughs> great. Hyping yourself, yeah. like, you look good. And then Ooh. like, but I remember one time I had a race where I like dove in. Um, I don't even want to say what race because people are gonna search it. Dove in. <laughs> My legs were killing me first 50 of a 200 free. And I was like, this is not, this This is not going to work. (laughs) And then I just, I went really, really slow in the race. And like, it was just, I think it was because mentally just off the first 50, I was like, okay, this is done. Like I can't even put in more effort right now. Really? Yeah. And what was it attributed to? Like it just fatigue from like other races or just weren't feeling at that race? I have no idea. I have no it's idea. It's just bad goal. Yeah, it was just like a bad one for me. I don't know why. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> but I have those sometimes. Like, yeah, at trials, I, I couldn't recover my legs for some reason. So I was struggling in my night races, but um, I think that was more just because I was sick. Oh, this is the recent one. Like, yeah. Uh, or not, re- like, long time ago. <laughs> 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 I'm an idiot. No. Um, <laughs> so dumb. Um, do you like does that happen if you're like at any time or is it typically like if you're like at the olympics at trials whatever is it typically you have to convince yourself like with your self-talk like more into the events not like you're never coming into the event like being like oh like in the 200 i gotta get my legs back like is it typically more like after you've been swimming for a while if that makes Uh, sense i don't know know if it makes sense (laughs) are you like like Longer races? No, I, like I mean, like your first races. If you're going to like an event, if you're going mm-hmm. to whatever trials, nationals, the Olympics, yeah. when you first get there, you are you typically fresh? Are you still like like yeah. those first races? You don't have to like convince yourself. Or are you still just giving no. it your all right out of the gate? First race of the competition yeah. that you're still convincing yourself. No, I think it kind of depends. Like, I mean, we always have like taper, so our training kind of goes down, and like we're really just kind of trying to like do fine tune-ups and stuff before we like get to racing so like normally i go in feeling really good and um i try to just like have a positive mindset going into my races because like for me i feel like my like mental is like really affects how i am physically especially when i'm racing so i have to really like be on myself with like being positive and just getting myself hyped up and ready 
and i'm gonna start sending you like positive like hype up videos before a race <laughs> like hey, i know penny's at nationals this weekend i'm gonna find you like, <laughs> rocky four like training montage oh yeah i'm gonna slide in penny's dms with that <laughs> training montage <laughs> that's literally my tiktok algorithm like like inspirational videos really it's like it'll be like denzel washington giving a speech at like a, a congregation or like a con convocation um <laughs> like give me some like thing or it'll be like some clip from a podcast like of like <clears throat> i don't know one of joe rogan's guests or something that like um i don't know some speech or something and then it'll like have a it'll be playing with like some inspirational like music like that with music and like yeah. someone running or like david goggins yelling at someone my like they're like gosh. working out yeah it's just really like gets you <laughs> that is up. not my tiktok algorithm. i was just gonna say <laughs> what's your tiktok feed look like um honestly i think it's just like a lot of like i feel like it's like jordan's people that, and stuff. no no it's like a lot of like girls i'll just like stalk on instagram you know like just like <laughs> girls that i'm like damn like she's really pretty but like i don't want to follow her because i'll get really insecure you know <laughs> and then okay. it just like follows over to my tiktok and my roommate and i have like this joke there's this one influencer we both follow and i don't even want to say the name because i don't want her to know i'm obsessed with her <laughs> <laughs> wait is she from toronto no oh, okay. but she lived here let's see if i can give you hints okay let's see <laughs> okay she lived here. Okay. I no the hints I'm gonna give her gonna give it you away. You give us one, and then yeah, we'll say it. And then she's gonna know, and she's gonna like at me. We'll no, say, she won't even. Let's know. say. Let's give us a hint. Give us a hint. Let's see if we get it. If you guys get it. For some reason, yeah. I'm ready. I have someone in my head that I'm ready. Who? I don't want to say it. I what got does one it too. Start with. A. I, I can, a S. No. Okay. Off. Wait. I don't off. know if it, but I don't know if it's the same. <laughs> Is this the first letter? Wait. No, no. Ah, okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay. Well, just tell us. No, give us a no, hint. I'm yeah. curious. Bleep it out. No, we can't bleep it out. We just, we'll say it off. We'll say it off. There. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll, no. we'll say it off. We'll um, no, yeah. There's this one influencer that you're I, low key obsessed with. Yes and no. I don't know what it is, but like I always like go on her Instagram. I love her feed and like I just the vibe she gives off on Instagram is really cool, but like. I don't like to see her at the same time. You know <laughs> what I mean? And so like, oh, I love hate. Betty's thing. just like every other like twenty one year old. Yeah, like, I love her, I'm but like, I hate her. Like I'm like, oh, um, get away from me! Yeah. Give me more. Like, so, yeah, literally. So like, my roommate and I have this like running joke at the house. Like, she has a TikTok, and we'll always be like, oh, I'm on like, you so know, when so people so. are like, I'm on this side of TikTok, we'll always be like, I'm on this side, like her <laughs> side of TikTok. Oh and my, my roommate now gets her videos and she's like, I hate you for this. <laughs> because, I said her name too many times. Yeah. That's why. And oh like, I was God. like, interact with her videos so you get them. <laughs> <laughs> Let them play more. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I'm obsessed with her, but I also, I don't hate her, but I don't. Why did you befriend her? Because I don't think she's the type of person that would befriend like me. I think she would. I you know, don't. Penny, you're pretty cool. Hey, wait. You'd be surprised. Yeah. You're, we never thought you'd come on our podcast. Uh, really? At the beginning. Oh, Penny, you're pretty fucking cool. No. Yeah. Like, so that, like, the first time, yeah, like, we we just, like, we just thought, we, like, you who were, was like, the coolest person that we could get? Arguably, you were our biggest guest at the time, probably. <laughs> Didn't you guys have, like, I would Donovan argue Bailey? still one of our yeah, biggest guests. Yeah, we had Donovan Bailey. <laughs> yeah, but. That okay. was after you. But Donovan Bailey, and no offense to Donovan, we love yeah, you. Thanks for coming too, back. Yeah. Thanks for coming on. Come back anytime. But like Donovan is it like, okay, arguably uh, like one of the biggest Canadian Olympians, but like different era too. So I guess like back in like early 90s, right? We would have been, we were kids. Yeah. We were like, we did all these things. So we knew of like, everyone knows Donovan Bailey was like the fastest man. Mm -hmm. But you're also like, for lack of a better term, like a wonderkind who like broke all these <laughs> records at your age. So it's like, oh, cool. Like that's a big deal. And like seven, that's crazy. You're like, still our second most listened to episode. Yay. Yeah. Who's your first? Uh, do you know, you would probably know who Johnny Orlando is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a little teeny bopper. Yeah. Well, he, oh, I say teeny bopper. He's like almost your age. I think you guys are like two years apart or something. Yeah, I think I've He's met him like once. You're, you're 2000. Yeah. yeah, you are because the necklace the thing. I remember something right. about the necklace. Sign yeah. one of those. Johnny Orlando right yeah. there. So he's our. How do you get up there? We got a little stepping stool for <laughs> Actually, you, you could probably get one of the yeah, He's going to get one of the yeah. sick one. Yes. So, fun fact I was saying this before we started recording, and like we kind of I just forgot to mention it. Okay. So, when you when we were recording, so you came to like my condo where we started recording, yeah. but 
I don't. Did we tell you this? That the studio used to be upstairs. So I have a little den, like an office. Yeah. And when we started recording the podcast originally, like we never thought to bring guests on. It was literally just us talking to hang out. And then we yeah. started bringing guests. And Friends then, and then, yeah. And then we had like my place is the loft and my bedroom was there and then the office was here. So like it was separated, but you can still see the bedroom. Yeah. So when you said you're going to come on, we're like, okay, like, like this is weird. Like we had girlfriends come over that were our friends that yeah. would like, it wouldn't feel weird. So I was like, what if like Penny comes like, you're walking upstairs. The ba- we we got to re- the table. <laughs> we got to redo this setup because like that's my like we don't want to like freak her out or anything. <laughs> so you were the first guest that we recorded downstairs in my like like that's living so area. Funny. So we basically first guest that caused us to like not cause us but we l- rearranged our setup to like m- make more conducive if you will. Yeah. Fast forward now to. Probably two years later. No, sh- we're shy of two years. Probably 18, 18 to 20 okay. months. Yeah. Okay. No, 20 months. <laughs> Mr. Technicality over here. <laughs> You're basically, two, basically two years. This is the first episode again that we rearranged our podcast. Not rearranged, but like redesigned. I have the wall. Yeah. So you're the first one <laughs> that, gets the, that gets the wall. Our buddy, shout out to our buddy Eli. <laughs> he came in the last two days. We're like, Penny Alexiak's coming on our podcast again. She's going to be in this seat. We're going to have another camera set up <laughs> for like the headshot. We need a sick wall. And he basically came up with this. And honestly, objectively, I think it is incredible. It's really cool. Does he just like freehand it all? Yeah, yeah he freehands everything. And if you actually look in between, like, so the faces he did, the different yeah. faces, but there's also words yeah, yeah, worked yeah. in. So those are words that Ricky and I got to send to him that have like different meanings and stuff Meaning. like that. Coachella? And they're all kind of hidden. Yeah. Pardon? Yeah. We went twice. Really? That's why Ricky's pretty basic. But not basic. 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 <laughs> it's the first one she said. <laughs> true, true, true. Yeah. That's, that's, actually, pretty, that's actually pretty, uh, that she did the first that she called First them. one she got. She saw all of them. She, or not all. She saw half of them. And first Yeah. And then saw. if you look slightly a little higher, you see cast our failed startup. Oh, I just noticed. Okay. I just noticed that one. <laughs> yeah, but we got a whole bunch of words. Okay, let me ask you this: If oh. you were to write three words that have meaning to you, what would they be? That's a pretty like. Oh, I know. Uh, do I know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so oops. Do I know? What's the third? <laughs> <laughs> what a dad joke. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Probably like my dog's names. Anyways. I'd write the word love. <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with that? That's a very Ricky thing. <laughs> very Ricky word. <laughs> You know what? Wait, did you send your list? Wait, why is that a Wait, did you send your list in <laughs> after I sent mine, or did you have yours written? I was, I, I had, wrote yours off. I wrote okay. mine after yours. Because see, when you said G, I wrote VDL because I did. I was like, he won't write that. He'll write GVO. But yeah, then, I, but you saw mine and did the opposite. Yeah, I, well, I would have wrote GVO. That's what. I, yeah. yeah. Anyways, yours I thought it was called like, mine's yeah, GVO. Yeah. 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 Uh, do you know what GVO is? No. It's what I'm gonna send to you every time you have a trial or a meet. Okay. Good vibes only. Okay, I like it. Sending you my vibes. <laughs> VDL is Wait, better. Wait, so why why would I write the word love though? <laughs> you seem like one of those I'm guys. the only single person here. <laughs> yeah, but you you make... Have you seen his TikToks? No. I've never popped up on your feed? No. You're lucky. No, you're I just told you what my feed was. <laughs> <laughs> Don't engage with Ricks. You do not yeah, want to consume Once you feed. engage, you're done. It's just, I'll just pop up Have you seen day. me on your TikTok? Yeah. You make TikToks? No. Exactly. You only, you only have a couple. Yeah. I, I don't might. make like... Uh, you pop up Rick. anytime you post something. You pop up on my Instagram every time. So I'm like your biggest fan. <laughs> Ricky makes, Ricky makes objectively the Amazing worst TikToks. TikToks I've ever seen. You're not my life. target market though. Target <sighs> audience. This is your TikToks are what I hate about social media. Why? <laughs> They're it's bad. basically just like thirst traps. Oh, very very bad. It's basically That's why. No, I've Only created thirst this- traps. I get are like. <laughs> Instagram model, <laughs> <laughs> and I like hate Honestly, it. That's kind of what Ricky is at this point. Yeah, no, mine's. Um, so I, I, I had a couple of videos go viral about like be, just being like a single guy. Obviously, I'm single. Uh, so now <laughs> I, I the... feed into this this single guy character. Uh, so basically, I have this single lonely character on TikTok, and now it's like because that's my niche, I have to feed into it. But oh my gosh, like. You make videos like oh being like God. that single guy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I kind of love that. No. Yes, Penny. Because I love. Um, yes, Penny. There's that other guy too, and he he's like awkward, you know, and he always makes those videos, and he's like super awkward in them, and he's like that awkward guy. Oh, I don't know. I'm not saying like you're that awkward guy, but I mean I just like those like, <laughs> Loki comments. Yeah. He didn't throw shade. No, I just um, like those kind I, of. There, there's a bunch of like single guys that like I know because like. We kind of share content. <laughs> well, we yeah, share content. Tell us how you really feel. No, we share content. No, so it's like, one I'm like, ooh, guy, that guy killed it. There's one guy who copies you, eh? Oh, there's a, 
<laughs> man, there's a couple that copy me and they don't even credit me because I have a couple original videos that went viral. Mm-hmm. Like, this is my fucking idea. And they copy me and don't tag me. And I'll literally go to their videos and be like, thanks for the tag, bro. And then they'll delete my comment or just block me. Yeah, but I have a question though. Don't, like, if you see a trend and someone copies it, do, is, is it like you're so, supposed to give them credit? So, yeah, if you're copying it, we're like, Thing for thing. So with trends, you relate it to your niche. Yeah. Right? So if I do a trend and I relate it to my niche and you're relating it to the same niche I'm relating to and doing the exact same thing I did, then you should give me credit. Is that, I, you're I don't copying know, is that me. Yeah, you're literally copying me. And it's not my, it's like not it's a generic sound, right? Yeah, bro, you're right. So, you're so, so I'll show you after, but I <laughs> yeah. did a couple. I'm like, the same dude every time. And I'm like, man, I swear you block me. And then you unblock me a week later just to copy my content. Like, <laughs> my bro. niche is swimming. And that like bothers me. Do you I, make swim, you, you make like I hate it, <laughs> but it's the only things yeah. that people like to Penny, see. Because you're, f- you're fucking the sickest swimmer in Canada, yeah, like, no. arguably the world. Like, but I just I want to be able to make like fashion content, interior design content. No one wants to see that from me. Okay, no, no one wants I'm, to see me win. Penny, <laughs> swimming. No, I swimming. Yeah. Penny, wait, I, 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 but see, like that's the thing. My swimming content goes like. Boom. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to say, let me I go have, first. Let me go first. Okay, go. <laughs> so I have one thing I, on that point. I love making like little travel mini vlogs mm-hmm. because on TikTok, it's easy. You pick the sound, you throw the videos and it makes it for you. Yeah. And I love them. I, anytime I go away for like a weekend and I'll just take little like little videos and pictures. I'll let it sound sync with a song I like. And I sit there and I'm watching. I'm like, this is, I love this. Like this yeah. makes me so genuinely happy. Post it. 5,000 views. Yes. I sit there in the car and be like, is anyone else a hopeless romantic like me? Ha, 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 Boom. 100K. Yes. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding? I did this in my, because now, now I do, do it in the car because I can keep up yeah. with my consistent content. Okay. And it just rattles me. I'm like, I literally, I'll write in the caption, I love this video. Like, please show me that it's yeah. good. Okay. 5,000 views max. But that's my point. We talked about this on another episode and I want to circle this back because do you remember when I said, do you think that, we talked about influencers now, like you know how when Vine was big, they went out to mm-hmm. LA and now TikTok's the same thing. People are like relocating and you know, they're New doing York. their collaborations. Yeah, all that stuff. <laughs> Everyone's in New York. Yeah. And like, you know, they, like all the influencers congregate who want, I guess, becomes TikTok celebrities. And listen, nothing against that. There are some people from Vine who have made it big, like King Batch, who's a Canadian, he like he's in movies he's in netflix movies yeah. now good for him hey danielle Hi. um but i asked this question i i can't remember how you answered but i i think i remember i had asked you do you think people are happy making tiktoks once they kind of find their niche so they find a niche and they go viral and like now they're just stuck in this perpetuating circle it's like oh i went viral for this so i could be famous and keep making this but Am I genuinely happy? And I think I asked you, do you think the people that are making these niche videos are genuinely happy making these videos? Ask. And I think you said they are. Yeah. But do you see your point? No, I'm going to double down on that. Yeah, they are. Because now for me, it's like TikTok is is a business now. So it's, it's a but, job for me. Right. right. Which that, makes me happy because I'm making money on it. Right, right, right. But what I'm saying <laughs> is- Instagram is who I am. No, TikTok is my but that's online what I persona. Mean. It's, you have to remove like the money aspect of it because- if it's a business and you found something you're good at, you can make money on it. But if and you, you enjoy it. If, no, no. But if you had to go do anything and money wasn't involved, because at the end of the day, sure, like money gives you a means to an end, but it doesn't bring you happiness. That's the result of yeah. what you're doing. So like, would you make these videos if no one paid you to make them? Um, if nobody liked them, I wouldn't. Yeah. But, but right, it's, but it's see, a, but people like them. So, but, but, that, but that's what I do. But so making that, people happy also makes me happy. Like the joy that other people get from my videos makes me happy. Or the, the attention the videos get. <laughs> no, so it's, not, exactly. it's not so much the attention. It's more like people literally DM me every, so every day. I open my phone, I got like 20, 30 DMs. Like, hey, mm-hmm. your content made me happy. Hey, yeah. it's nice to know that I'm not the only single yeah, one out there. Yeah, that's honestly like, nice. When yeah. you get those kind of messages, like that's actually fucking sick. Yeah. Like a bad day, I'll get like one or two. Yeah. But that's what it is. It's like, yeah, am I annoyed some days that's like, fuck, I need to feed this TikTok algorithm and make three videos a yeah. day? Yeah, that's annoying at times. But then you post it and people are like, it's not even like the the potential women I meet from it. It's like just the <laughs> people that are generically like, they watch my content and they they think it's funny and it's mm-hmm. hilarious and it's, it brings them happiness. I'm like, fuck, that makes me happy. Yeah. But so that, like you get joy out of making that, but that's a thing. Like, but your travel videos, 
Those probably bring people joy too. Like it's probably cool to see those things. Nobody yeah. ever messages me about my travel videos. But they bring you the most joy. <laughs> yeah, they, they do bring. But they bring you the most. And that's why I still. Joy. Yeah, that's why I still make but them. But see, right? then if that brings you the most joy, you should do what brings you the most joy in life. Yeah, maybe if so, you just only post those. Only post travel. Yep. You go on pretty object. No, you go on pretty sick trip. We all like. We've, yeah, we've yeah. I just cool there's not enough content, right? And no. there's like I don't travel enough to just do travel content. It's interesting. I don't know. I have a th- like, I actually yeah, that's what goes, I that's why I asked. Ways, like, right? Because social media has done great things for bringing <laughs> the world together and yada 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 all that stuff. <laughs> but it also like there was a there was a tweet from like a MMA fighter recently that said I'm not gonna I'm gonna paraphrase because it's kind of vulgar. It's basically said if you are a grown man making shirtless dancing videos, you should cut yeah, a part of your that, body that, off that. that makes you a man essentially. Now that might be an extreme. I'm not saying this is my opinion. I, please don't cancel me, everybody. I'm, I don't do whatever makes you happy. <laughs> but you know, a lot of people say you know, like I, I think I'm gonna I don't even <laughs> bite my tongue here. Danielle's listening. But what? Like, what makes you not a man if that makes you happy? No, no, no. Yeah. But 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 yeah. that's no, no. But Let's it's hear not. It. The, You're doing Worst comes to worst, you can cut it. Let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you see some people like this. That's his opinion. And the, you can't tell someone don't do it. But I have a, a belief, and I, and I, I hope yeah, I'm yeah. wrong, but I believe that a lot of these people that end up finding their niche, that's like, that's their thing now. Like, that's what they're known for. So they're doing it because the fame and the dopamine and all that perpetuates them. So they keep doing it. Like, Exactly. So you're not even playing a real person. You're playing a character. So you are you are yeah, on social what, media as a character. Are you happy now. or not? Yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I mean. I, I mean, a little deep yeah. end here. But. I, I personally like my online character. So I always say this: my Instagram's me. Like that's actually who I am. Mm-hmm. Like I post stories of actual like. Me. Are you happy or not? Yeah, my. <laughs> that's uh, a good way to yeah. ask it. <laughs> my TikTok is my mm-hmm. online persona. Yeah, and they're two separate people. Yeah, I haven't like figured it all out yet me on social media i'm very like because i don't know i feel like people look at me a lot differently than i look at myself you know what i mean like yeah so i just like post whatever i really want to post like my workout videos i'm always posting my workout videos randomly and people like love to see that yeah and it's just like I'm not getting anything from that other than like messages from people saying that it's really cool. What was the one that I commented on? Someone said something to you. It's like, um, I, I can't remember what the comment was. Maybe if you, maybe if your lats weren't so big, you wouldn't, uh, I, I something about like the way your body and you're like, yeah, if I didn't do that, I also wouldn't have won seven, yeah, seven medals yeah. or something. Yeah. I always, I literally get, like, saw, I was like, fuck the haters. Honestly, not really anymore since I like since was more goat? open about like, just like, calling people out yeah, on that stuff but i, I used it. to always get the weirdest messages from like guys being like oh like don't get too muscular and i'm like <laughs> as if fuck? you're ever gonna even meet me like <laughs> <laughs> like okay yeah i'll I make just sure just for you like, on my instagram <laughs> like just so that i don't make you uncomfortable looking at my instagram profile like, i will make here. sure i watch my weight for you That's like i'm so, so sorry bizarre. i know i think you also had one where you i guess you were eating a big meal or something someone commented yeah. it's like you're eating too much. You got to watch your weight. Yeah. And I literally responded to Penny's like she posted something. I was like, when you're swimming as much as you do, you can have 6,000 calories in a day. Yeah. Nobody gives a fuck. Like, yeah. The best is like, have you ever seen those ones? Dirk Ole always sends them. Our buddy always sends them to us. Because whenever we're having like a heated debate in our group chat about sports, uh-huh. it's always goes back to that, that like a, there's like a TikTok that's gone around and it's a guy sitting on his couch with like his belly out, chips on himself, yeah. watching the Olympics be like, you suck. So yeah, I've seen that. And it's like POV. You're you're the out of shape guy on the couch yeah. criticizing the world class athletes. Yeah, it's so funny how people have like, listen, any guy will sit at a game and, and yell somebody. Yeah. Oh, you suck. Whatever. And you get heated. I mean, I don't think we do anymore because like, no. I've actually seen Ricky yell at people at games for saying shit like that. Really? Oh yeah. I'll yeah, tell yeah. my leaf story after this. Yeah, but like it's so funny how people have the nerve to like criticize never mind like if you're an athlete if you're the best at what you do or you're trying working hard to be um a master of a craft yeah whether it's been business whatever people will always find something to criticize you about mm-hmm. they'll always find a way to like attack you which is so bizarre because those people probably aren't doing a whole heck of a lot yeah. but the the funniest is always in sports or people the peanut gallery always to say like you know you suck or they're like okay yeah tell your story yeah. I'm gonna, i would have said it there but so I was at a Leaf game once, right? We got really good Leaf seats. So we're, we're pretty close to the net. And this is the time when uh, it was Kessel was like our main good player and the mm-hmm. Leafs weren't that good. 
So we're playing a good team, and it's a close game. I think we're we're down like two one or something. Yeah. They score, make it three one. This guy about eight seats over from me is just heckling like the goal. I think it was maybe Anderson or someone at the time. You suck. You could you can't save a beach ball. Blah blah. He's like standing and yelling. So you remember the whole arena sitting because they just scored yeah. on us. So I look, I'm like, yo, bro, sit down, like, chill out. Like, what are you doing? And he's swearing and stuff, yeah. right? And we go, like, we're getting some chances. <clears throat> Still 3-1. The the uh, period goes, so they switch ends. So now we're shooting on our end. So we're getting so many chances. And I remember Phil Kessel comes down, like, shoots one, hits the bar and goes out or something. So there's a whistle, and he's kind of just chilling right in front of us. And the guy's just beaking at You suck, Phil. You're fat, Phil. I was like, bro, shut the fuck up. Like, what do you... It's a close game. That's our best fucking player. The guy's got, like, 40 fucking goals this year, and you're going to chirp him? Are you fucking serious, man? And I was so mad. He's paying to be there. But it's like... <laughs> to, like, watch him it's play. Like, uh, yeah, exactly. It's like, you're paying your hard-earned money to watch him play. And it's like, he, it's not like he's not trying. Yeah. You know, there's sometimes where you see athletes not trying, and those ones deserve to get booed. Yeah. But it's a very rare stance, because yeah. if you're a professional athlete, that means you have the mindset that won't let you not try yeah. 99% of the time. It's like, yeah. I can think of maybe a handful of athletes that purposely gave up in-game. Yeah. Like Patrick Waugh in the 90s because he wanted to get traded. You know, you hear about that, the racer. Um, I just watched Drive to Survive season three. Senna? No, uh, uh, Vettel, how he gave Sebastian. up on Ferrari in one race. Oh, I don't In one trial race. There's like, there's instances. Rick's, yeah. Rick's watches Drive to Survive and a Formula One yeah. guy. <laughs> so it's like 99.9% .9 of the time, these athletes are trying their absolute hardest. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're having a bad day. But if, if I, do I come to your work and yell at you when you're having a bad yeah. day and say, you, you suck? Hey, you know what, Danielle? You screwed up on my taxes today. Uh, you know, you better have a daughter or else I'm going to quit. Get out of here, man. Uh, I mean, people probably do that, though. Yeah, <laughs> Danielle, well, maybe with taxes, I guess. Some, some people come at you at your business place. Like, I get cr criticized. I mean, I'm working clean and, like, we, like, we get told that we're shit and we get blamed for a lot of stuff. Yeah. Not all the time. I understand what you're saying. But there's also a fine line, right? Like, you also see stuff, like, in the NBA today where, like, I'm not there, so I can't speak to it on a case by case. But you see a lot of times, like someone like LeBron or Kyrie, the divas, if you will, of, of yeah. some of the sports, they're getting a little heckled and they want to get a guy kicked out of the game. Yeah. yeah. So like back in the day, you used to be able to like you know throw some chirps if, mm -hmm. as long as they were tasteful. You're not saying like you know cussing at their about their family yeah. and stuff. And like today, if you make a joke or like you know say that, oh you're shooting like, calling out bricks or something, yeah. they'll ask to get the person like ejected. Like yeah. that's also not cool because on the yeah. other hand, if you're not being an asshole. Yeah. You're making a little, you know, playful. You should be able to do that. Yeah. You know, like yeah. a little but bit of I, banter. Yeah. I don't know. I think like that's also kind of where this whole like athlete mental health movement kind of came in and it came in really strong. Like mm -hmm. I'll agree with that, but I think like, I don't know. You don't also see like all of it. I feel like, I feel like people only show the parts where like they look bad, you know, like, Oh, he was just yelling brick a couple of times and he got kicked out of the game. It's like, was he just doing that? That's you know? True. That's true. And like, like how many other people, like how many messages does he get on social media? That's like, what I was all just going to ask you, know? you. Is it bad? Like behind the scenes, obviously during competitions, I, I guess being a swimmer, swimming so different than, like, yeah, because it's such a quick short thing, right? Yeah. Like you're not, you're not a, a 60 minute game with yeah. you know, hundreds with 50,000 of people mm -hmm. or whatever. But do you get like any hate, like from like, I don't know, on social media, like random burner accounts? Sometimes like swimming is so, I feel like it's such a non nice confrontational. Yeah. I feel like I feel like everyone's just friends. Like, like I think there's like the only things I really I think I get more hate just because like I'm on social media so much and like people when you're on social media a lot people think they know you so then they think they have like a direct line or they're something. they're like oh I can comment on this because I Follow know me. everything about you and like we're friends mm -hmm. or something mm -hmm. you know and I'm just like okay no we're pals but yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> um but I don't know I think. Yeah, like, I don't know. I get it. I don't it. even no, know where I'm going it. with it all of it. Sense. Which is interesting, though, because, like, swimming is one of, like, the uh, what, premium, or premium, like, one of the more entertaining sports, like, in the Olympics. Like, that, mm -hmm. like, track, like, anything that's, like, super fast, like, yeah. whatever, like, those quick sprint-type events, like, those are, like, probably the most watched you think like i think track and field like the track race are yeah. the biggest i, I think yeah I but think i would swimming's like second yeah, yeah. it has like it has to be especially yeah. in the last like you know from when phelps was coming up it's now yeah. someone like yourself like it's just it's so exciting like mm -hmm. it's crazy 
which is interesting that you don't get a lot because like you feel like there's so much attention on it for yeah. as like object like, as an objective observer well, yeah and it's also because you have the same athlete that can compete in numerous events right like in track yeah. you can have like the grass competes in numerous events you, you've mm -hmm. done what nine events now at the yeah. olympics so it's like you can compete in so many phelps nine in, different yeah. like like no, you've done f you've done four you did four and five right i have five races at the olympics yeah so you did five in 2021 and then four in 2016 yeah yeah so you've done nine events yeah. there right oh you oh, sorry i thought you meant like nine i was like there's no nine you, she can like, do as many as she wants yeah like, like you could qualify it, for yeah. so many right if i want like phelps did six one year he, he went six yeah. for six one year i yeah. think but and on that topic you're partnering with phelps on some stuff Actually, no. Oh, <laughs> whoops. You got to bleep some more stuff on now, right? There go. Whoops. Where did that come from? I, no, I was. Oh, okay. And okay. then that brand dropped, the Phelps brand, and now they have a different brand. Oh. That, like, I'm. Oh, okay. So you're the part of it? Yeah. But, oh. no, gotta, like... but Phelps isn't in it anymore. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I saw, I it took the real champ. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I saw the Instagram post today. I even commented. I was like, fast. See you soon. Yeah, I saw <laughs> that. <laughs> Didn't like it, but whatever. <laughs> I'm kidding. So I uh, have not been on social media a lot recently. I swear. No. No. What's yeah. your go-to Instagram or TikTok? Uh, like for me to post personally, Instagram, yeah. TikTok. I just people on TikTok are ruthless. Like if I do have a TikTok that blows up, like some of the comments, I'm just like, where did you get the nerve <laughs> to say that? <laughs> Instagram, I feel like, is more filtered. Like, people don't want to comment too much, like, anything too crazy. It's so easy to, yeah. like, delete it. TikTok, people just comment anything. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> calm down. Yeah, let's, let's, let's just down yeah. a bit. I mean, that's fair. Like, we comment. On, we're friends with Ricky, and we make fun of Ricky pretty good. So we don't <laughs> None of you guys action. comment on TikTok, though. Or I've, I've chirped you lately on some of your stuff. <laughs> Have you? Chirped you on your Instagram post. I saw that. Did I respond? He said, tell me how you really feel. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was just saying, I'm like, out, what? I don't even remember what post was about, but. Uh. One of my outfits or something. Yeah. Speaking about fashion, Penny, obviously you're big into fashion. Clearly, yeah. <laughs> what, a, what a segue. Today. <laughs> I didn't, Rick, man, you're on fire today. Speaking of partnerships, speaking of fashion. No, but fashion, because no, I, you post about like nice shoes and stuff all the yeah. time. You got a nice collection. Yeah. Are you a sneakerhead? Um, I used to be like really, really badly. I used to buy sneakers way too often and like really expensive sneakers. And now I always wear like Uggs, Uggs <laughs> and Ugg slippers and that's, that's pretty much it. Like Vans sometimes. Crocs. Like, yeah, exactly. But I, I do really like fashion and I recently actually like got a stylist, not for today, but <laughs> I recently Thanks. got a stylist. We get it. Yeah. And so it's really cool to kind of like get to get into that more. And I don't know. I like being a part of that space. And That's like, it's one. something I never thought I'd do, you know, growing up. What is like that? Like, did you get a stylist? So like, basically it's just someone like that you help like, or helps consult like, oh, this is the in and that stuff. Or do you like someone that you go shop with? Like, yeah. What's that like? Um, I mean, like she will reach out if I'm going to an event and like a brand might want to dress me for the event, which is like really cool. Wow. And like sometimes they'll let me keep the stuff, which is dope. But, um, she also like comes over and like goes through my closet and tells me like, this is what you should put together and things like that. So it's kind of all a bit of a learning experience and it's taking a lot of stress off of me because like, I'm always worrying about like what I'm going to wear to like this, that and the other thing. Yeah, yeah. So it's really nice. Is that something that like a space, cause you mentioned like the TikToks that you make, whether it's fashion or interior design. Is that something that like you kind of want to pursue in like your life after your career now? Have you, and if you haven't thought that far. Yeah, no, I think I definitely really want to get into interior design. I've like been obsessed with that for so long. I always feel like I'm moving just so I can like decorate a new house <laughs> or a new place. Um, and I'm always like getting furniture and stuff. I literally have a storage unit of furniture from my old apartment because like when I moved to my new one, I was like, it has a whole different vibe. I need different <laughs> furniture. I feel that. I so, feel that. um, I don't know. It's something I really want to get into, but I think definitely after swimming, cause like I want to go to school for it and everything. And right now is not the time for me to like do both. Yeah. No. Fair. I kind of, I can relate to that. Like when I moved to like <coughs> the place that I'm in now, I'd move, I've had like three, two places before that. Mm -hmm. And most of the stuff I used from the first and the second one, they're both downtown condos. I was like, ah, they're the same. I can put these in. Like they fit the vibe. But then it was this one that I got to like design. Like I gutted it, renovated it, like built yeah. it like a loft style. Yeah. I was like, 
this feels like a place that needs all new stuff. Yeah. So I literally went and like had a designer, like a girlfriend of mine from university, had Pinterest on my phone. I was on it every day. Like, okay, what can I do here? And like, what can I, I do with that. this? I went like, yeah, it was crazy. I had all these different <laughs> mood boards and stuff. And she's like, you should do this and that. I was like, okay, sick. I, I can definitely relate. Yeah. Because after I finished this place, I've only been there for two years. After a year, I was like, hmm. It's like, be cool to have a different style place now. Yeah, exactly. Which is so weird because the, I, the place that I live in now was like what I've always kind of dreamed of having for as a young kid. Like I was mm-hmm. like, I want a loft. That's cool. Yeah. And after a year, I was like, and now you're what? Like, I want more like something modern now. Yeah. Kind of like, <laughs> George, that is you. Yeah. Like, there's days we'll come in here like, you think we should change the layout here? I'm like, there's not, I'm much, very OCD. There's not much to change here. Like, we, this is 380 square feet or something. Like, yeah. Uh, I'm When it comes to stuff, I literally moved that from this side to there like two episodes ago. How's it look? I honest, I don't know what it is. Like, when it comes to like that stuff. What's your I, sign? Yeah. What's my sign? Yeah. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Taurus. Damn of it. course you're a Taurus. Is that wait what? I don't know anything honestly about science. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, all I know This is my problem with horoscopes. Wait, did you ask as you like No, but all I know is She thought you were gonna be hers. That's it. Yeah. Because What's hers? Because I'm a Gemini. But of course. No, no, no. <laughs> Before you attack me. Um my boyfriend's sister's really into like horoscopes and everything. And she was like on the weekend. I was like seeing her or whatever and she, her, my boyfriend's like changing the layout of like his family home or I don't know he's doing something and I was very like no you have to do this and you have to do it this way whatever and she was saying that like all of the Geminis in her family are very particular about their living space <laughs> and she's like that's such a Gemini thing so I was like huh. me Maybe and I Gemini. honestly I thought about it a few times before I even was gonna ask you because <laughs> I was like is he a Gemini he's definitely not Wait, when's, when's your birthday what was a Gemini I don't even know June 13th june 13th yeah, i couldn't no. even tell you when it i'm Taurus april 25th is. oh okay so mine like just passed recently yeah so i'm like i don't know i'm like stubborn that's all i know what Taurus is but i don't i personally don't ricky has a whole bit on this and it's it's actually what a video on this podcast that he made into a tiktok i knew he, he ate that shit up he was ready as soon as that clip came off the podcast i knew he was gonna make yeah. it into a tiktok what is it We'll show you TikTok I'll after show you. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's absolutely awful but, but no but, even on so on my tiktok everyone like <laughs> my biggest question that people ask me all the time and like I've made TikToks about it. Yeah. It's like what's your what's your sign? What's your sign? What's your sign? So now I do this whole TikTok horoscope thing. And I can tell you that I can make a TikTok being a different sign every single time and people always call, "Oh yeah, you're totally a fucking Capricorn." I'm like, "Okay, cool." Like <coughs> It's so, so yeah. interesting how people believe in Now it's a it's on the what's it? The birth uh the birth time. The time you were born. You're a but, rising moon and a something yeah. sun. So yeah. apparently people know I was born at 11 o'clock at night, apparently. Really? I know. I told were people you? that and now I'm just running with it. Cause <laughs> I was too lazy to text my mom. You know the meme where it's like, hey, mom, what time was I born? Run, son. <laughs> oh, yeah. You guys have, like, I've seen, seen that, that one. one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. yeah. Because like astrology girls are kind of crazy. Oh, apparently. yeah. <laughs> no offense to your boyfriend's sister. No, she's great. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. No, I asked my mom what time I was born. She had no idea. Yeah, it's really? like, I know what time I was. Wait, what time? Yeah. Were you and born? then she like got all mad at me because I was like, oh, my friend's moms know like what time they were born. She's like, are you saying I'm that mom? I'm like, no, <laughs> I'm just, I just want to know. You're feeling attacked. Yeah, I think I was born like 3 a.m. on a Wednesday. I know that. I was that's really that. specific. Yeah, I was a Thursday baby. That's all I know. I think. What does that mean? What does a someone look it up? What does that? What does a Thursday baby mean? <laughs> I was a. Pl- I was it a means you were destined uh, to make terrible TikToks. I was a uh, C-section. Yeah. Oh yeah. Planned. Yeah. Same. And I was a good thing I was because if I wasn't, fun fact, I had my umbilical cord wrapped around my neck three times. Holy shit! So if shit. I wasn't a C-section, I would have been an emergency C-section. They say only fifty percent of those babies make it. Holy Jesus! So you're a miracle. Not quite, but basically, almost. Nah, not quite. But I, was, I think I was natural, bro. I was just like, psh, fired it out. Okay. That's pretty oh, fucking. Oh, accurate. fuck it. At the same time, it can help self deception. Oh, yeah. Oh, I fucking bingo. <laughs> Give us no, Monday. I'll relate to that you're too. You're jovial and generous. You have a lofty philosophy about life and go by uh, mm. all your feelings. It's, mm. it's so generic, though. Are a, so, are a lot in personality? It's so generic. A lofty though. philosophy. I don't know. You're not very philosophical, buddy. Again, you can say any generic words and make it tie. Like, okay. 
highly passionate when it yeah. comes to their love, love life. life. I don't know. These, <laughs> honestly, they're like, yeah, I can't. They're too I generic, can't. right? It's just, it's BS. Not, sorry, it's not BS. If you believe in it, cool. <laughs> but, <laughs> but like, I don't know. Come on. You know, tell me the time I was born dictates how I live my life because the sun was at this spot or the moon was at this spot and the tide and. Yeah, I don't know. It, 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 the stars and Orion's belt and whatever. Do you believe in angel numbers? No. What is that? <gasps> What's oh, an angel number? That pains me. The uh, angel numbers are eleven, eleven. I have that on my neck. Eleven, eleven. Yeah. Because the the devil's number is six, 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 right? Yep. Wait, eleven, yeah. eleven. Is that actually an angel number? I don't yeah. know what yeah. the stuff is. Yeah. It's like apparently people see eleven, eleven a lot. That means someone's watching over you, right? Something yeah, like that. Exactly. Yeah. Really? Yeah. TikTok you guys, covers. seven, seven, seven. I was like, I'm coming to the right place right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we got Penny back. Wait, on okay, pod. wait, wait, wait. So explain. So like, like seven's oh. a lucky. Don't ask me. <laughs> she doesn't just, know. She just fucking fucks with it. I yeah. know. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's about it. It's basically it. This freaking camera keeps. It's annoying. I'm gonna Shit. run to the bathroom. Yeah, now. yeah, go, oh, go. The <laughs> but yeah, Penny, you'll be fine. Oh, I see. Penny's my favorite guest. I love Penny. Yeah, Danielle's with us. We really gotta get Danielle a mic because when Danielle talks, we're just like, sorry to all the listeners, we gotta repeat it. Go ahead. What's in it? Okay. So basically, they're numbers that are either repeated or patterns, and they awake. They mean, they mean something. And they awake a sense of wonder. In a nutshell. So seven, seven, seven means Which is interesting because, like, and no, then six, so, six, six is a devil number, right? But this is interesting. While she's looking that up, is what demon figures? Demon figures. Which is interesting because numerology is like a thing, right? But. I know that Neil deGrasse Tyson always has this famous thing. Goes numeral. I think it essentially says numerology is only a thing in hindsight. No one ever said like this number is a pat whatever. So it's something's gonna happen at this time. It's always like, oh, this happened. Look at the significance of these numbers. No, you didn't know Y two K when up. the world was gonna end. No, and we all filled up our bathtubs. It's also, like, what an insane thing to think the world's gonna end because of a uh, the, it goes from one nine nine to like two thousand that the clocks so, weren't gonna work. No, it's not the clocks; it's about computers. Yeah, they thought they, no, they thought they wouldn't turn over. Yeah, like, the that's thing. what it, the, the yeah. extra digit because a lot of compute a lot of um, computers and like the way no, the it wasn't extra digit because it's not the extra digits; the extra how it's going from one to two. Yeah, they thought yeah. the number wouldn't turn over, yeah. which makes no sense. Yeah. I agree, but numbers numbers exist. Was your was your bathtub filled? I don't think so. Mine was. I remember it vividly. Yeah, but your mom's a bit superstitious. Oh, bit. <laughs> My mom, <laughs> like, in Brazil, like yo, yeah. superstitions like a fucking thing in Brazil. You know that every single like Scott voodoo thing? dolls and shit. You ever see the officers? Michael Scott's like, Never I'm not superstitious, that. but I'm a little stitious. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> is it Michael Scott or Dwight? Anyways, one of them. Yeah, I always yeah. think about that. It's a good I, deal. I think it's uh, in Brazil. Yeah. It's like massive. But that's the thing, like, so. When it comes to like numerology and all these different things, like other explanations, so like non-scientific explanations, because the only thing that's typically irrefutable, like undeniable is like things that are scientifically proven, I guess. So like physics and that stuff, we've had this debate before. Yeah. But like numerology and like psychology, physiology, whatever, all the ologies, I guess, like all the ologies. I don't know if that makes sense. They're all like theories, right? Like they're but, theories until they're proven. Yeah. You're good. But like, like numerology is always people say well yeah like that was like significant because like it happened at this date but again no one ever predicted something saying oh when the clock strikes you know I'm back. 2022 two, 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 this significant things that happen everyone's like well this happened on this date wow look how crazy the numbers are that's so cool it's bullshit uh <laughs> penny's like uh, you missed our, our section about numerology she explained what angel numbers were okay. and so the significance of it but I was saying that like numerology is like what the theory is, I yeah. guess. And Neil deGrasse Tyson basically said, no, nothing has ever been explained in the history of explanations yeah. by like forward looking Foresight. numerology. It's always by hindsight with numerology. Yeah. Uh, Penny, random yeah. question. What's your lucky number? Uh, I don't know. Okay. I don't really have a lucky number. Lucky lane? Seven. 
all right all that's right. i think the lane i won like the golden in rio yeah yeah okay but it works by fastest is four five right fastest in trials yeah it's like four five, five three six two seven one eight yep look at you swimmer boy ah no big deal <laughs> came third yeah, in offsa but, 50 but, meter backstroke oh, no biggie okay um, that's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> actually, no, I lied. It came in fourth. Oh, oh not as that's cool. not bad. Yeah. No, because I was they, no shame I was in gonna, fourth. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, ah, so so. Yeah, and then uh, my relay team came in third. So I remember I was on the podium with the guys. That's pretty dope. This is for non-competitive swimmers, so it wasn't that dope. <laughs> you, put, you put in your Facebook status? Uh, probably. That was me and my house league baseball stats. <laughs> Two for two, two home runs tonight. No big deal. NBD. That 100% is what I would do back in the day. Not even ashamed to admit I was that guy. I was the guy that wished he was good at sports and had the drive and desire, but didn't yeah. have the physical attributes. We'll leave it at that. Yeah, that's fair. Anyways, back to... I'm going to get off the numbers. I want to okay. go back to the Olympics because we kind of are nearing towards the end. Uh, how how is long have we been going? We've been going for a while. We've been about, about an hour one. 15. Nice. This is yeah. a good one. Yeah. Um, the Olympics this time as opposed to last time. Mm -hmm. What was your like personal take on it? Not talking about swimming, just like personally. Obviously, it was kind of during COVID. Yeah. First time you went, you were a rookie. First Olympics, 16, like no pressure. Yeah. Again, not talking about the sport, just the enjoyment, the personality side yeah. of it. How was this one compared to the first one? Um, I think this one, I was definitely just a lot more like confident going into it. And I kind of like knew what to expect with everything. I think with the last Olympics, I went in and I literally thought like i wasn't gonna accomplish anything and i was kind of excited to just go and like be there for team canada and to race and then i had I so my many lulu, ja lulu lemon jacket today <laughs> canada one yeah of course yeah. Uh, Fuck, missed the we did not get that so really? summer Olympics oh summer was, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you, thank you. sorry i cut you off uh, <laughs> but what i was kind of saying was um i don't know i think the last olympics i was just there to like have fun i didn't really know what to expect it was like really shocking to me and like kind of overwhelming and then this olympics i just felt like i was like there to compete and i was excited to go and for me i i call myself an olympic swimmer just because like i feel like that's the one meet that like i can really really get ready for and i'm really excited for it and like when it comes around i'm just amped to like go and represent canada whereas like with other meets like worlds or like i don't know other summer meets that we have i'm always just like okay i'm ready to go and race obviously but like there's just something about the olympics that's so different so it was just so nice to go again and just kind of know everything this time around and know how to like carry myself at the pool and the dining hall and everything whereas before i was like always kind of following someone because i didn't really know what to do <laughs> yeah yeah it's different when you're 16 right you're still a kid you still are kind I of know, a kid right i like, am yeah <laughs> you're literally a kid yeah, yeah. Like, right now now you're you're not only a two like a four-time champion at this point you're a medalist but now you're also like one of the great canadians leading up to it right I so know. it's like you walk through That's the halls weird. like you got big shoulders right everyone's expecting stuff out of you yeah, that was the one thing about this Olympics was there was so much pressure and I was so nervous because I just knew I had to get seven medals and I definitely think I could have done better had I not been like as nervous as I was. So that's why I'm like really, really amped for Paris just because like there it's no pressure. Like yeah. it's just how many medals can I get, you know? Yeah. And I'm excited to kind of see. Do you still yeah. get really nervous? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah like really nervous <laughs> do you, but i think that's a good thing nerves i, I think are good yeah do you Means think you this care. one you were more was it just in general because of the stage you always get nervous or this one now like you said like the pressure was always in the back of your mind every race yeah i think that's because at the last one it was like oh okay i got a medal okay i got another medal you know like it was just like i was <laughs> oh going, my god it's three yeah it was oh just, god, I got four. yeah i was just kind of going into every race like <laughs> okay like let's see what i can do you know and like then going into this one, every race I was like, I need to get a medal, you know? Yeah. So it was kind of a different mindset of like, there I did. And then I was actually really happy with this one because um, I didn't, I, on, I only had six medals. I, I have my six medals and then my two races after I got six, I didn't medal. And then by my last race, last day, I was like, okay, F this. Like, I don't even care if I get seven anymore. I just like... I want to go in this race, have fun. If I don't medal, I have six medals. Like I have more Olympics to go to, whatever. 
and then that was the one race I medaled in at the very last day. And I was like, okay, now I have some medals. Don't like. <laughs> and now you yeah. go to the next one's absolutely no stress, nothing. Uh, probably not well, no stress because like I still, well, still have. Gonna, yeah, I still want to. Yeah. Still kind of the goal, right? Still, I don't know. I, I I feel like I haven't even reached the like real goals I actually dreamed of. Like as a kid, I always wanted a world record. And so for me, like, okay, I have all these medals and everything and I've like gotten an Olympic record, but it's just like, I haven't got that world record yet. And that's just like, that's the one thing from when I was younger. Like I didn't really care to go to the Olympics. Like when I was a kid, I was just like swimming you for fun. You didn't care to go to the Olympics? I didn't really like know about it Man, that I much, was in the you swimming know? pool. I cared to go to the Olympics. I yeah, I don't know. I was just kind of like good at swimming and I enjoyed it and like I enjoyed getting faster at it and that was kind of it for me but like i was always like oh i want a world record one day that'd be so cool to just be like the fastest in the world at something and i just haven't got that yet and i'm really working towards it so i'm hoping like soon i that, really want to get one that would be crazy because yeah. not even the fastest in the world like at that point fastest you're the fastest ever. person ever in history yeah. exactly until it gets broken that's yeah. cr- that would be i know. I, I can't even like yeah, I can't even fathom I what that must be like. That's, yeah, the, I, can, I can't imagine what, because like I feel like because even with like having the seven medals, I always go to my friends and like, I wish I brought them today. I was going to, but I just slipped my mind. You just right broke Rick's heart. <laughs> like, Sorry. I, I, got to, I got to hold on once. So, I know, or but, twice, but maybe yeah. I'll just like seven randomly all, yeah. bring yeah. them over. Um, But like, I'll bring them out to my friends and I'll be like, Jake and I have like me of all people in Canada. Like I have the most. Like that's weird. You know what I mean? It's very, fucking sick. Very cool. It's though. just like it's odd just the to me. Thing ever. But so it's like, also very cool that you did it. Like, which is like to your point. Like you went to the first one. You're like, oh wow, another one. Cool, yeah. another one. But that's crazy because like, it, people always talk about like you know. I'm sh- sure you probably hear it a lot. Like Michael Phelps when he like he yeah. did it at so many consecutive Olympics. Yeah. Like, but like. You know, not to set unreal expectations, because again, your point, whatever happens, like happens, you yeah. have goals, but like you did at such a young age. And again, this one, like that's got to be pretty cool. Like having seven, but like, wow, like you got the record, but like you're still, you're still like in the prime. I would say like, yeah, say, no, like you still have a long yeah. career ahead if you really want to keep going. Yeah. Like female swimmers, I think reach their peak at around like 24, 25. And like, I'm going to be exactly 24 at the next Olympics. So I just want to see like how good i can get for it you know i want to be in like the best shape i want to have like really good nutrition like for the most part even though obviously like so none of these snacks no i know you can't that's the thing though like if you're gonna limit yourself like that's even worse because then you just have like binging days you know what i mean so um danielle's like yeah i get that yeah (laughs) but i don't know i i just like i really want to like narrow everything down and like really get into the science of everything and see how good i could really be uh, i want to ask why do you and this is obviously gonna be tough for you to answer what do you think makes you so good like what's what makes you better than the next person uh i don't know that's weird to think about but um, that, I, that's why i preface yeah that. like I, I understand how it's an awkward question. i think it's honestly just the way like i was raised almost like my parents were really really like supportive of all of us and they always like tried to give us the best opportunity at what we wanted to pursue so like my brother was hockey like he was out of the house at like 13 like going and billeting in Detroit and places like that because my parents were just like you yeah. want to pursue this like we're gonna help you Don't and half ass it, yeah. yeah and it wasn't even like we were like this crazy rich family that could like afford to do all that my parents were just like we're gonna figure it out and give you guys the best opportunity at what you like can get my mom was like always researching how to get a college like scholarship and things like that got both of her kids like um my sister in rowing and my brother in hockey like full rides to universities which is crazy so I think it's just like and my dad like he used to literally drive me to and from practice every day he would like drive me to school pick me up from school with like a snack before practice drive me to practice wait pick me up you know so I think it was just like my parents. They were really like behind us all the time. Yeah, and people, for those who don't know, swimmers practice what nine times a week. Yeah, yeah. So wow. and yeah, that's not a mistake. Nine times. So it's mm-hmm. Monday. It's usually like every morning, Monday to Friday, and then uh-huh. you have the afternoons, three days a week, and then yeah, Saturday, exactly. Sundays off. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. 
my, bro- my, my brother swam and then I kind of swam. Yeah. I did the afternoons on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, like people don't realize the sacrifice and like the hardship it is because practice before school when yeah. you're 13 years old, yeah. you're practicing at like 6 a.m. Yeah. You mean yeah. you're up at five. You have to be lot. on deck at five. Like On deck in, at five? In club right. swimming, yeah. Wow. Like uh, now, like we're not on deck before like 745, which is nice. He's like, yeah, no big deal. Um, <laughs> yeah. You got no. seven medals. Do so many. You're okay. Don't worry. Yeah. Go for whatever you want. <laughs> but like in club swimming, when you have school and everything, you have to be on deck at five for some reason. So you can That's train till like. Well, yeah, because they do the stretching. They do dry yeah, land training. Like, exactly. And it's weird because you do it in your bathing suit. Yeah. Which I always thought was odd. No. <laughs> no? No. Because like you have to get in the pool right after. Yeah. But know. like my dad was crazy. Like I used to also do two or three weight sessions like at like this crossfit gym with this private coach um three times a week and he would drive me to that and then drive me from there to practice and then from practice to school like it was a full-time okay. thing for my parents so oh. good on them i uh, <laughs> i just watched king richard and then you guys I seen it? Seen oh it i got invited to the premiere of that in toronto and i wasn't here i think oh. Um, good? No spoilers. i really want to i don't i'm it. not gonna spoil it but it just shows the commitment and like parents play massive roles in 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 these athletes lives like Mm -hmm. it is so obvious and you've heard it from so many different athletes over the years and we've talked to uh, penny's another example of this that the parents commitment to the to the son or the daughter's athletic and uh, academic abilities plays such an integral role like king richard I, i won't give any spoilers but like one big thing for him was like he made his daughters not compete in juniors so that they could study yeah. Because they don't want them the distraction of tournaments and this and that. So like he it was such a controversial thing at the time because nobody did it and well obviously we all know how that worked out for them. Yeah. Um but it is crazy to hear that. Yeah, but it, I think it is really important to like have that balance cuz if you have a kid that you're literally just like swimming 24/7, be at the pool, like think about something all the time, like that is not sustainable for longer than like once they start having their own opinion, they're going to go like psycho, you know, mm-hmm. and kind of hate it. But my parents also really instilled that in that us where like my mom was like, you need to hang out with your friends some days. You need to study on these days. You have swimming on these days, you know. So yeah. I think that's also like a really, really big part of it all. Yeah. Cause yeah. Like they're not pushing you just like this is what you have to be. Yeah. Do that. And that's it. Yeah. Then you'll, res- and you'll resent like them you'll hate this like you'll get tired of the sport it becomes a job and all that yeah exactly so like now people are always like oh like are all your friends swimmers and i'm just like no all of my friends are non-swimmers because i just need that balance in my life yeah. now well, what was your like non-swimming hobby as a kid as a kid i don't know i i've always like, like did you paint or something not really I don't, know. I'm I don't just, really, I'm just throwing out ideas here. Honestly, I, I my parents always had us in like sports and stuff. Okay. So like I did dance growing up. I was okay. like in point ballet, like on the little like point uh, shoes yeah. and stuff. Yeah. So Pretty I was good? doing that. Yeah, I was on I skipped like two grades in ballet, so I guess I was like getting somewhere with it. But uh, you're a natural athlete. <laughs> basically. Well, obviously. Yeah, yeah. I mean <laughs> sure. <laughs> um yeah. No, but that's kinda like I was always just in sports and I did rhythmic gymnastics too for a while. Yeah. Like okay. I went to like a specialty school for like rhythmic gymnastics for like a year or two. All right. One way or another, you're going to be the Olympics either way. <laughs> Juilliard <laughs> yeah. or, or the gymnast. Who's the other? Who's the gymnast? Simone Biles? Oh, no. She's a big one. Yeah, but that's not. Rhythmic gymnastics is with like the ribbons and stuff. Yeah. Oh, like the Will Ferrell yeah. thing. Yeah, old yeah, school. yeah. Exactly. Okay, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. That's how I remember it. Yeah. Did we ask if you did, did we ask what sport you would compete in? If no, you didn't? I don't think so. Okay. If you had to pick any other sport to compete at the Olympics at that you knew you'd be good at, what sport would you choose? Winter or summer? Okay. Well, I actually had a whole conversation about this with my boyfriend because there was some book or something that I heard about. I didn't read it, but like I heard about this and the guy was apparently writing about how, um, There's some people that are just like born with that like natural athleticism. And he was kind of making the um, comparison to like LeBron James and like people can put their kids in basketball and put all this money behind them and everything. But then if LeBron James just one day decides to like pick up a basketball and train for six months, he's going to be better than your kid ever was. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's just like weird to me. So I was talking to my boyfriend about it and I was like, do you think like, 
I could do that? Like, do you think if I just like decided to swim when I was like 20, I would be really good at swimming? Like, cause that's the sport I was like meant to do or whatever. And he's like, I don't know. Like, do you think you could do a- another sport and be better than everyone? And I was like, I don't know. I feel like I could maybe like, <laughs> I was like, I don't know. And he's like, uh, I don't think you could do basketball. I was like, right. I definitely couldn't do that. Wait, but re- that's the one I would have guessed. Yeah. No, but I think. And people always say that on my Instagram. Well, Penny, you're like what, six feet tall? I'm like six two. Th- that's my that bad. is like my bad. <laughs> no, normally I would say me if someone was like, two. if no, because if someone was like, you're six feet, I'd be like, yes, I am, because I hate <laughs> being super tall. Oh. But what my boyfriend and I came to the conclusion of was that it that like would translate to like a sport that's kind of comparable to the one that you're really good at you know like i don't have any coordination so i don't think i could actually like pick up a basketball play for like six months and be better than like yeah, some kid no i get that but i think if i did like track, track. i was just, I was gonna, just thinking that, yeah, yeah. I but I track. also don't know I if was I could do high track. Jump, uh, I was long, ju- uh, long jump not high jump long i did jump. long jump in middle school and i was good at it i was gonna guess high jump but I think high like the problem is you can't it'd be tough to train for swimming and high jump. We gotta get you in a winter sport. <laughs> um skiing? Are you a skier at all? She says yeah. she's not coordinated. No, not coordinated. But my job like you could ski. We're also not like allowed to ski. Because right. it's a yeah. dangerous yeah. 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 Absolutely. You know what? Fuck it, curling. I heard curling's hard. Um She could be one of the brushers. So well, no, but they I still think we still yeah, yeah still so my my like, girlfriend's like Uncle is a big curler. My brother also played. Oh, team. Uh, cross country skiing. I do. Like you have the stamina skiing. for it, obviously. Maybe I long can legs. But I hate running. Yeah, but who cares if you hate it? We just got to get you in the Winter Olympics here. Like, I know. Maybe if I train it, I don't know. So your guess is you have to pick another sport to probably be track though. Let's say that, but <laughs> okay. like I'm so bad at running. It's so, insane. So long jump. Yeah. That's Stand, a short sprint standing, and a jump. Standing long jump. Yeah. <laughs> George, what about you? If you had to go to the Olympics, what do you think you'd have the best chance at? The best chance at? I'm trying to think of a sport. Mm. You could be like a coxswain in a rowing. No, a co- wait. A, oh, I'm the guy at the front? Yeah, I would. Oh, he's too little too heavy. A little bit large, yeah. <laughs> front, the front's going down a bit. <laughs> I'd probably do... No, I'm not big. Shot put, maybe? discus like one of the ones where you you know it has a spin and whip the thing all right maybe some shit like that javelin maybe javelin's cool javelin remember a greek guy you know what's funny it's all about um it's keeping your arms straight no but it's all about like the way your body's moving when you do it what's that called plyometrics probably it's all about that because it's like it's you're you're using your body as a like a whip. You're like arm. a lever. Yeah, it's a cantilever almost. Yeah, that's, that's why because when you throw a javelin as well, you're not supposed to throw it like a baseball. Your nice. arm is like straight. And you release it. I remember I, I always thought it was cool because like I, I saw back in like, I don't know, the old, way back, one of the older Olympics, there was a Greek guy who was really good at it. And every time he would throw, he would like cuss like crazy in Greek. And I was a kid, so I found it so hilarious. And anyways, I was like, oh, that'd be a cool sport. The dude you can like, swear in Greek and throw a spear in the air. It seems very like a very Greek sport. Like you're like a Spartan. <laughs> anyways, I thought that was cool. That's probably the one that I would probably be the worst at is the balance rings. Balance rings? Uh, That's so yeah. specific. I, just, I know that because I was just thinking about the other Greek guy who's like one of the best at it in the world, and he's like insane. That's one where they like hold, yeah, yeah like yeah, hold yeah. themselves up. The Vince Vaughn, like, old school one. I feel like I might be good at that. Yeah, that's a men's one though. I feel like no, no, I feel like the women that do that though. are usually really tiny though, like they're like five yeah, foot definitely. nothing, like, like small yeah, Biles. small and really like really like, like shred, yeah. kind of shit. Yeah. Um, yeah. What about you? I really think curling. Curling's I think I could hard, fucking man. curl, man. I really think I could. That's like, what you'd think. Like, if you trained, if you, like swimming, you wouldn't You're do. telling me, like, Guys, there's I'm, no other sport I'm, than curling. I'm convinced. Bad no thing. shade to curling I'm, at all. I'm convinced. But, like... If I if I just stopped my life right now and started training curling, in four years, I can go to the Winter Olympics. So do You it. could do it. Well, I can't. I can't just put my life on fucking hold. There's no, no, I don't know you if can, you would no. have to put your life on so hold. So the thing I is, so I thought about this because I... I, I, I was, how about Johnny Moore probably has another job? Well, he's been doing it since he was a kid. Big difference. Yeah, but... It's That's the hours, thing. right? The ten thousand so, hours theory. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So the thing is, a lot of a lot of you gotta uh, stop making TikToks. Win win for everyone. No, because then I have to draw. <laughs> you have to drive, and I, TikToks I do like two hours a week max. Um, <laughs> the thing about so obviously I watch the Olympics a lot. Big yes. Olympic guy. 
Tell uh, us again, Rick. Tell us again so we know. Big Olympic guy. Um, I'm actually more of a winter guy than a summer guy. Apparently. Really? That's just a hot take because hockey no, is my that's a weird ho- hockey is like summer is a, way better. It is it is better. It's just winter for me because it's always cold here during the Winter Olympics, so I'm inside more. I just tend to watch it more. Really? And there's a lot more uh, winter events that I can consistently watch. Yeah. So like I love all the uh, snowboarding stuff. I love all the skiing stuff. Uh, I got into uh, speed skating this year. I was big into speed skating. Speed oh my skating's God. cool. I I never watched it until this year, and I was like, I couldn't stop watching. I was like looking at the guy to see when the speed skating was. So, uh, hockey was very unfortunate this year. I didn't watch any of it because it was, or I watched some of it, but not as much as I normally do because it was trash. Um, <laughs> they didn't let the NHL players play. That's why. I know. Oh yeah, you know that. So, um, <laughs> and then so summer is just I watch like obviously I watch some swimming events, and then you obviously watch the running ones, but. Other than that, like I don't watch the shop, but I don't watch like the long jump, the yeah. high jump. So that's why I like the winter event, the winter Olympics more. But well, as I was watching it this year, I was watching curling and I was watching the the pairs. Like, so it's the guy and the girl and the girl. There's curling pairs. Yeah. So it's like it's two it's versus like two. new. No, uh, I'm not 100 percent sure. To that's be honest. cool. Yeah. yeah. So it's two on two. So it's a guy and a girl. And we have a friend of a friend, Johnny Morris. He's like one of the greatest Canadian curlers. I think uh, he is like he's won no. back-to-back goals, no? Yeah, but there's there's, yeah. there's like the old guys. More, that okay, this. yeah, there's like the goat goats, right? Like, he won in Pyeongchang. Yeah, he went, Chang, he's got two goals back to back, and I think he's got three medals total. But there's Good I think there's him. Yeah, yeah, he's killing it. He um yeah, funny there's that funny. old bald guy anyway. So <laughs> Brad Gushu is that his name? I don't know, but that's the first thing that comes <laughs> to mind. So wait, I'm watching this curling thing, and I'm looking, and this girl missed two open shots at the end of the event. Like, they were fairly open. All she had to do is get one of them, and they would have won, and she missed both. Damn. And I'm looking, I'm like, that's, this is your job. This is you. Like, you know, I, I feel like I could do that if that's what I was trying to mm-hmm. do. But, yeah, I don't throw shade. It's unfortunate that yeah. happened. But I was like, I feel like if I trained, and that's why when I have a kid, if I'm going to let my kid curl one day. If he enjoys it, man, my kid's going curling. Because I feel like it's the number of people that curl in a year in Canada no. can't be that high. You don't think? It's not like hockey. Yeah. Okay. Like the chance to make the Canadian men's hockey team is next to impossible. There's yeah. 30 there's 30 guys and there's I don't know how many men play hockey in a year. Yeah. In Canada, especially in Canada, yeah. right? Like it's very very hard to do. Curling, I feel like you got okay, maybe only four or six guys make it, but I feel like there's only maybe what Tens of thousands, maybe like what ten thousand? Maybe yeah, probably curlers, Canadian curlers, male. Well, I don't know. Johnny Moe is the best, is he? Two golds. There's other guys with two, but the one has two golds. Johnny Moe is the most golds <gasps> curling. Ah. Caitlin Laws is the female who won in 2014 and 18. Johnny Moe didn't win back to back. He won in 2010 and 2018. Okay, but he got two gold medals. If he gets one more medal, he will be second amongst every curler in history, not just Canadians. Wow. Amongst so the, there's three Swedes that are above him. Damn, they have Swedes. Do you know Johnny Mo? Not. Are you friends with other like, like people Olympians? of your caliber? Um. Well, no. There's a lot of Olympians, but then there's like you know the the top tier Olympians. Cream of the crop. Yeah. Oh. Uh, like Andre de Grasse. Are you buddies with him? I wouldn't say buddies. Like I'd say, like if we see each other at an you event, we'll say hi. But I also don't think he lives in. Like Canada. No, because I think he was down in the States. Yeah. If you're training like, for track, you're probably in a warm climate. Yeah, exactly. So like, when do I ever see him? Yeah, you know what I mean? True. He also like has a whole family. Yeah. When you're so. when you're at the Olympics and like, are you guys like, is it boys in, boys in one room, girls in another? Like a yeah. hall or is it just separated by floors? No, it's just like floors and rooms. It's all huh. separated like that. But you see like everyone pretty much. But also I think um, track was the week after us and track and field ended up coming in like as we were leaving because oh, like of covid and everything uh well with covid and stuff uh, you yeah. can't it so, was tokyo this year right? yeah we oh, had yeah. to leave year, like yeah. 24 hours after we finished racing come on was there the canada house this year like do you go in and like hang out and shit? there was no like house you uh, couldn't leave the village uh, that's yeah shitty. oh yeah yeah but there was, and there was no fans right? no <laughs> not even people from because originally they said only mm. people from Japan could buy tickets no that didn't even happen no do you think that changed the atmosphere for you at all uh that's a good question I don't think when I was swimming okay. when I was swimming because like we for two years were racing like without fans in Toronto you know whenever we had meets I think even still we're racing without fans like mm-hmm. for some reason so um for us we didn't really care but like for other countries I think it definitely was weird for them because they all like 
had fans and everything and then they go to the olympics and all of a sudden there's no one but it was really weird when you were standing on the podium and there's no one in the stands yeah like that was weird it, except for to? like like there's people from the swim team will be there in yeah. the stands but like it's weird you know what i mean yeah, they're big Paris olympic facilities right yeah honestly i, I kind of am Can down we? Yeah, Paris. Yeah, man, I'm in. I've never been to Paris. At this rate, P- Penny's gonna be part of the Pals podcast. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll guest host. Penny down wants there. to host her own. We'll kind of we'll bring you into ours. You can just yeah. guest host whenever you want. You can go to the Canada House. It's really fun. So you're, you're talking like Ricky's dream right now. Yeah. Don't get him that. Don't get his hopes up Look, here. I'm actually like the biggest but Olympics. Loser my family in the world. Like, had so it. much fun in 2016 because there's also can I like, just be like the fourth Alexiak? You guys could definitely, like, I'm pretty sure friends that come are allowed to go to the Canada house and everything. So, like, if you guys are there. We go to Europe, like, e- almost every summer. So, 2024. 2024, I'm going to Paris. Well, that's, that's also, done. on that, on that like, same thing as well. That's also got to be cool that, like, like you're George, gonna, you'll you go- be there javelining. <laughs> no, okay, I'm not going to javelin. Is javelining a word? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we should look it up. <laughs> um, it's got to be cool because, like, you know, you got, like, you, you know, did your, like, of the two, the the more, I don't even know how you'd classify it, but like the more surprising one that's got to feel cool enough for the mm-hmm. fans, like your first one, this one, okay, probably a little bit weird having them, but like yeah. now going to Paris and you're going into your prime and you're taking it seriously, like less, that's got to be like, you less, know, you got to be pretty yeah. psyched up for that and like yeah. feeling pretty good and yeah, you know, that'd be a good experience going into that. Or, really and we're going to be there. I know. <laughs> I actually have a lot of like friends and families that want, or families. Yeah, I guess family. Friends and family, yeah, yeah. Uh, they they all like really want to come to 2024, so I'm really excited to go and like Paris is so nice. So like, hopefully, getting to just go around Europe afterwards and like, you know, I think it's gonna be a really good time. And just like, it'll be my third Olympics at that point, so I'm excited. And that one, yeah, that one you just go in and exactly. Honestly, I'm not not a coach. I'm not giving you any advice, but you should probably just go and be like, fuck it. <laughs> but your first race, but like whatever happens, happens, and you'll yeah. get that world Boom. record. Literally, world record first race. Just yeah. gotta go in and say, I don't even care. Whatever happens, dive in. That's it. <laughs> that's it. That's it. I know. <laughs> and I think that's a good note to end on. Yeah. Yeah. That was awesome. Penny, Penny coming back. Thank you. No, thank you yeah. guys. Thank you. You're awesome. Um, for those listening, if you've made it to the end, we appreciate. Oh wait, actually, Penny, if the, people want to find out more about you, your training, your TikToks, your TikToks yes. fashion, swimming, etc., where can they go? How yeah. can they find you? Um, I'm pretty all over the place. I don't have like one single handle. So like, typical pen on Instagram, and Penny Lexiak pretty much on every other social. But why typical pen? Um, it's actually from when I was like 13 at a swim meet. One of my friends was like, "Oh, you're so typical." And I was like, Haha, yeah, I guess. And she's like, typical pen. And I was like, I'm going to make that my Instagram handle. And then I got verified and they were like, if you change your handle, you're going to lose the verification. And I was like, okay, I'll keep it. Then. So why wouldn't you just make it typical pen on TikTok? I don't know. It doesn't feel right. That's fair. <laughs> there you That's go. That's fair. Yeah. Um, all right, Penny, again, thank you so much. You. Guys, you made it to the end. We appreciate you. Thank you. Give Penny a follow. Listen to this. Share it with your friends. And that's it. Signing off, guys. Yeah. Pals, cheers. Cheers.